Here we are again. The last stream of the week. Thursday night, September something. How you guys doing out there? My name is Tyler Bell. And I missed the button because I rearranged everything for my own convenience. Which was uh, very goofy. Hey everybody, how you doing? This is me, it's me, Tyler, Westside Tyler, here for another live stream. How are you guys doing? Hope you're all good out there. This one was, I forgot to get up the notifications for this earlier. I have been busy as hell all day. At some point, hopefully, I will be able to uh, talk about what has been going on in my life <laughs> recently. There's just been additional shit that has been a gigantic pain in the ass, and uh, dealing with it has been its own host of troubles, so to say. But in any case, um, how you guys doing? I hope you're all good tonight. I hope everyone's doing fine. We have a very interesting show, I think. It's very simple and straightforward. Uh, I'm going to be reading the audio of various other streamers uh, because there's a lot of, what well, specifically lefty streamers, because there's a lot of people with really bad audio out there, and I don't know exactly why um, that is because I am going to be using my headphones. I'm going to take those off for a little bit so my head doesn't get all sweaty and I don't get dense. Um, but I hope, uh, I hope you guys all tune in after the... Um, Sorry, there's some other noises. I'm just being crazy right now. Um, after we do a quick review of uh, several streamers, I haven't picked out more than just kind of by memory a few. I'm going to go into a quick OBS um, tutorial just to teach you or any of the streamers, maybe if they, they see it and they're like, what are you talking about? And they come by, then they can learn how to um, fix their audio as well. Actually, I am going to wear these. So anyway. Um, hey, of course you missed the button. Thank you, Matt. <laughs> I did. Talking about horrendous audio, my dad bought a cheapo headset for fun recently and has laughably bad microphone. Like, legitimately the worst I've ever heard. Yes, I, um, I know the kind of microphone you're talking about. Some, some headset mics are just wild, and I don't know if it's the case that they are, um, if it's like an, uh, a thing, like, inside, you know, the, uh, inside the actual like electronics of it of it or if it's just like they don't get the right kind of drivers to run them correctly when you plug them in i, I that's always been the most confusing thing some headphones i've had um amazing audio quality terrible microphones terrible microphones good audio quality some of them just you can't hear other people talking but like the 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 uh game will be fine like it, it's weird how strange video game headphones are. This is bad on its own, but it's even worse with the splitter it came with. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't... That's that's another thing, too, is... Um, my, my headphones that I have are off of, like, a 2.5 whatever millimeter jack off of a preamp, and so they have more than enough power. You can see how thick this cord is, um, but they have more than enough uh, phantom power and preamp juice for me to hear anything that comes through them pretty much perfectly. But I think a lot of, now that I'm considering it, I think a lot of those um, headphones and stuff that you get, they have too much, they offer too much in the way of sound while not being able to uh, keep up with it electrically, like power-wise. Um, now that I say that, yeah, that actually does make sense because I've seen a lot of headphones that have uh, hitch and skitter issues where they, um, they have, uh, what do you call that, braking. Um, that's not exactly correct. Uh, overruns. They have like overruns where it goes like, K -k 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 -k, like that stuff. But oh, wait. Audio is like the big thing. Um, the reason I'm doing this, anybody that's new to the stream, is because uh, I, I get a lot of compliments on my audio as well as uh, I should. <laughs> no. um, I, I work really hard on the audio uh, for this. I, I've started up a few different live streams in the past i think i've mentioned this before but uh the the audio has always been a very important thing to me it's one of the reasons i like immediately stopped my first foray into streaming was on uh mixer on xbox i thought i could just kind of like do it while i was playing video games and it didn't really work out but not only was the um 
not only was the audio bad, sorry, there's actually an interesting headphone. Not only was the audio bad sounding um, because it was coming through a headset mic, but also like the delay between the audio and the, the, the talk, I couldn't do anything about it. It was too hard to fix. And uh, I eventually gave that up. And then the same thing with um, stream labs and stuff. And I had to switch out. Uh, oh, I want to see this later on. Sorry. I actually saw a very good, interesting video, but we are going to um, basically start hopping in here. Oh, you sent me some audio. Sorry. My bad. I just noticed that. The missile knows where you are. The missile no oh my God. Knows where it is at all times. Consequently, the plane is not. Note, many spelling mistakes are in the original text. These have been preserved to the extent the target language allows. Siri, often five letters. If grammar found and stolen. So this second issue, uh, right here, where you have that high. Um, there's a few different things in this one. This is not. If you guys can hear that, that uh, that can cause that you have it. You have in this case um, lost almost all of your channels, your 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 hertz basically um, past when it's that low. Probably about like okay. four fifty to maybe like six or seven, maybe eight hundred. So like all of that on the equalizer is gone, which makes it really muffled. Grandpa but you hear that high pitch thing. That might be just the case of uh, what something's interrupting the signal and cutting off the high end of that. It cannot be reasoned with. It must be stolen back. Secret agent. Harry stole love from his dad. You know, people will fucking still listen to that, like, creepy sound because they want to hear fucking ghosts. This one, though, I gotta make sure that's down still. So the reason this is hot. The position that it is in is not the position that it if you ever hear audio like that, the reason it sounds like that, and it's got that distinctive, um, that distinctive sound to it, that's being uh, crushed, bit crushed, um, which is like a technical thing, or it's actually it's just being over compressed. Generally, um, when I'll, I'll explain, com I'll explain compression later in this, and maybe like during it as I as I go through discussing uh, what's going on with different people's audios. But basically, one of the biggest things that you see, especially with headset mics, is that um, you get uh, a lot of like native compression because of just like little electronic or, or mechanical pieces inside of the headset to boost your voice. So the microphone on those headsets is tiny. This is obviously a very, very large, very nice microphone. All of this is microphone. You can see all of this right here is uh, is where it is, you know? So I've got a, a gigantic chunk of magnet and metal and copper and all that stuff in there, picking up um, the depth of my voice and relaying it to you. Well, actually relaying it to a series of programs that are mixing the audio channel and then it is what it is. But for the smaller ones, you know, the microphone can be just this tiny little, absolutely microscopic thing, um, which doesn't mean it's necessarily gonna sound 100% bad, but the, um, the, the limits of the ability of that thing to pick up the all of the waves and stuff and you know whatever process it can be pretty small and so some of the mechanics inside those headsets just jack up they just jack up the uh, the bass volume super high into a mechanical limiter that prevents it from super clipping and so you can get that if you also if you have a gain switch you know it's like a little dial on there and that gain dial is too high you'll get that too because it does have a mechanical limiter on it the waveforms on the audio are terrifying i, I probably <laughs> i highly doubt it even has a waveform it's probably just a, a flat brick right yeah i have a basic understanding of audio processing so i get where the distortion comes from oh yeah no no I, i'm kind of just trying to explain that to everybody uh, because those are two really good examples of of bad audio it's actually kind of picture picture perfect for the stream um unironically so let's see. Um, I know I want to get actual Jake, right? Yeah. So we're gonna get actual Jake on here. Why am I not subscribed to him? What in the fuck? Does YouTube unsubscribe you from people randomly? Because I know I was subscribed to actual Jake. I'm I'm actually confused about that. That's strange. Like, there's a bunch of people. I swear to God, I was I was. Um, I would I was subscribed to and I couldn't see him. That that's so bizarre. Uh, let's see. 
slaves wanted more freedom. Let's see. Um, is this a debate? Is this a debate with President Sunday? It is. Okay. Maybe I hope I hope Jake gets heated in this one because you can see this one definitely he will. Um, so you can see some of the issues that pop up with his. We'll go for Demon Mama. If anybody has any requests for people that you want me to um, see, I'll just go for Demon Mama's most recent live stream. Xander Hall. Three hours ago, stream. I think that is, in fact, a problem deal with people deal with. Yeah, I, I, I think I feel like I've heard it before, but I've never actually seen it happen to me. I've got him subscribed, at least. Uh, Xander Hall. Okay, don't don't play yet though. Let's see, Vosh. I don't want his. I should go straight for his live stream in this case. Vosh's channel is weird because I swear to God, it is fucking impossible to find his lives sometimes. Like drama meme stream one year ago, one year ago. So say, where the fuck are the vods? Does he not actually post them on here? Because, no, stream by, yeah, you have to go all the way into here. There we go. Six hours ago. Boom, got it. Um, Vosh. Do Destiny? Sure. I'll do Destiny. He's a leftist streamer, right? Destiny's alive right now. Have you thought about doing a real climate change? See, here was a, there's a VOD playlist. They're unlisted. Yeah, I just noticed that. Mm -mm -mm -mm. JF murders wife. Fuck. Destiny. Vaj is Andrew Hall. Da, 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 da. Shark. 300. Man, it sucks so bad when you bring up Shark's fucking channel. Immediately, goddamn, what's his name comes up. Lead it. Debates, shark bites, go to. Oh, hell yeah, he's got Flower Boy on there. Sick. Um, I'll let you guys look at these because I'm. it's just me sitting here right now, so I'll flip this down. Go to the art screen. What's that? Yeah, I, I managed to find a. Uh, oh no, I already read that. Oh, you have a perfect Vosh clip. If you do, go ahead and uh, uh, I'll I'll check the Discord for it if you want to share it. The waveform. Oh Jesus. This is the. Uh, this is the waveform. <laughs> That, um, oh my God, my brain, my brain. Dr. I am sent us. That is, that, this is perfectly blown out. That's wild. I'm guessing, is that, is that, that looks like, um, is it Ableton? Not Ableton. Uh, the other one, the one that, what's the one with a free one? That's what the, those, uh, waveforms look like on that. So, Shark. Yeah, Conyers a good one. Uh, I'll just watch a Kanye short because I don't think Kanye super edits anything. Maybe they do. And who's else going? How about President Sunday? I've never watched any President Sunday content. I've only seen him like reply guying in other people's stuff. Oh, President Sunday. But he he looks like he'll have what? No way. What a joke. This guy thinks he can just... Oh, AI. Okay. God damn it. Kiffle's damage control. All right, here we go. Audacity, thank you. Audacity, that's what I meant to guess. Let's see. Oh, here we go. Insane GOP primary debate watch party, August 23rd, 2003. 
Uh, trust YouTube links from now on, yeah. I don't think I've... All right, so, um, yeah, we'll, we'll check this one out. Ever opened a rumble link before? <laughs> oh, jeez, yeah. He, that's, so that's an issue we can fix, too. Was that super loud for you guys, or do I just have my volume turned up really loud? <laughs> it was super, not as loud. It was very loud for me. I'm gonna, okay, we're gonna... That was pretty bad. That should have been fixed on my stream. I don't care but, anymore. But it was fun to yell really loud. That but hopefully, yeah, that should be fixed on my stream uh, because the way I have it set up, but that was very loud because I hear native audio from the videos. Uh, <laughs> that was pretty fun. I enjoyed doing that. Part. We'll keep listening to this though. So let's see. What is it? Let me look at my things. To those believing leftists think hashtag trans lives matter, think again. This is what the left behind their mask of love and acceptance. Their ideology is all that matters. Filters. Wish for a trans woman to be raped for re refusing to espouse it. Okay, go ahead and talk, Vosh. Come on, I want to see what your I want to see what your audio levels are. Son of a bitch. She's not wrong. Well, she's wrong implicitly. There are people on the left who are bad about this but everyone on the right is worse about it. Like, you can point at a couple of left-leaning people and go like, look, here are some one-like comments where people are reveling in you being sent to a men's prison. And then I can point to the All right, so I'm going to turn that GOP. back on. What is my limiter like, on this? Like, from say, top okay, to cool. bottom. So that know? should actually have blocked uh, that. So I, I don't really think... So I got to say, um, with, with Vosh, his audio setup, his pre-setup is actually pretty solid. Um, we can just hop into him right away. Um... As he's, as he's talking, most of his issues come with his mic placement because he doesn't wear headphones the whole time. He can't hear himself uh, popping his peas like this as much as he's doing uh, because he's got the microphone directly in front of his mouth, which you can do. But if you're, going to, if you're going to use a direct address mic directly in front of your face, you want to back it up like this far-ish. Otherwise, you're those peas and uh, those plosives, as they call them, they're going to get blown out a lot more um that, that's just uh that's just a mic placement thing i think it's a valid argument um through implication are there any like videos put out by her or is it all but yeah generally his vo his his uh his bottoms are pretty good his tops are pretty good he's, he's probably peeking at around six he's i'm just even watching his waveform with and without my uh my my listening filters on He's sticking a little over 18 and well under six. You know, he's not blasting it all the time over and over and over again. Actually, I, I get up pretty high, but uh, I prefer it that high anyway. So, um, yeah, that, that's 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 pretty solid audio. Um, almost 100 percent. The thing that he could do is um, prep his desktop audio because you can however you stream the audio from what you're listening to in is a separate channel. Um, and you can go in and you can put some filters on there that you won't be able to hear while you're working. That's the one kind of drawback. You'd have to basically uh, listen to your stream through like YouTube or whatever. And then with the delay that you're going to be hearing, you can just do this in an un unlisted video or whatever. Uh, you can modify that so that you can put some filters on it to make it quieter. I'll go into what those filters are later. Um, but yeah, I would say, I would say Vosh's audio is basically like, uh, nine, eight, nine out of 10, basically perfect. Uh, I don't really know what you could do better. So uh, yeah, I, I mean, I guess I would say pass or fail. It should be this pass could, could use improvement pass and fail. Um, and, and in Vosh's case, it's definitely a pass. Uh, the only thing, yeah, that I would add is definitely try to get some stuff on your desktop audio. Um, I wish more people knew. Oh, Hassan is a good one. I, I didn't even think of Hassan. I'll do that. Uh, oh, sorry, Dr. I am. My t it's time for me to eat, and I think I have stuff to do after that. If I'm not back, I'm definitely going to watch the VOD back. Okay, cool. Well, hey, I'll see you back in the VOD if you're if you're coming back to the VOD. Welcome back. Um, but yeah, if you um, there, there's things that you can do in your desktop audio to prevent that. that I think a lot of people should do. Uh, especially people that get into baits with like screaming memes, uh, people that are going to be yelling, shouting, there's stuff you can preset up 
inside your audio to make sure that if you have someone that tries to get on and starts just doing, you know, the gobble 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 and blowing out your audio that you can um you can deal with that without having to uh, or you can have dealt with it ahead of time and have to worry about, you know, all of your your viewers getting blown out completely. See, where's my my compressor? Yeah, my threshold's at at 3, which I I tend to prefer. I know apparently YouTube's post processing post process from pro, post processes from what I understand down to negative three decibels, which is right around the um the 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 very bottom of like most people's red line on their thing. Um, audio for pre pre send out should generally be I don't know pre send out audio that you're going to be using for processing should generally be uh, not fully mastered to a three. It should be right around a six between 18 and six um, so that you can kind of work. If you're going to be dropping that into a program, if you're going to be dropping it as narration into something, it's good to be there so that your engineer has somewhere to go with it when it's being mastered. This, I just let it go to a, a negative three. That's what I end up with all of my mastering um, when I do my audio program. So I, I think that's just the best overall sound. Anything over three, risks touching zero and once you touch zero you hit hard limit hard and soft limiters within most programs headphones and stuff and you start getting that <laughs> noise that no one wants to hear and it, it just sounds overly loud and oppressive big negative three decibel fan yeah I, I think i think getting it as in general you know not over compressing it to the tippity tip top but uh, getting your audio with a good floor as high as you can is best for most people because your audio, once it's mastered and out there, you kind of want it to the limit of you know wherever somebody's going to be going. Like it would suck, obviously, if you're listening to somebody that's really quiet, and then you hear somebody that's mastered to like negative three. That's like a good mastering of songs. Most songs are mastered to negative zero with things that like interior parts of the song are mastered to the th or pre mastered to like three, six, whatever the fuck I guess symbols, snares, you know, that kind of shit. But, um, when you have it at a nice high level and this is just for every, I guess I'll do the, the tutorial in line with discussing this. It lets, uh, people have a lot more range to turn up and down because you can't give more information uh, once the once the program's out, but you can reduce the overall total amount of information that's coming out of your speaker. Just don't blow it out before you send it. So uh, a lot of people send out shit that's really, 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 really quiet. And um, all right, so Vosh, I'd say a okay, a okay. Let's see, Hassan, Let's see Hassanabi, where are your vods? Uh, I know his, I know his clips are going to be edited all the hell. He's got some really Special Father's Day stream with Kratos, Dad of War. Playlists? Where's your VODs, Hassan? Does he not have his whole VODs online? I guess not. Is it on just Hassan? Official vlog channel? Playlists? Do I have to go to Twitch? Damn it. No, he's right there. He's actually live right now, so we can just listen to it live. Look at that number. Absolutely insane, dude. I'm going to go ahead and mute the audio just in case this is a some sort of commercial. I think it's usually other people who re-upload those. Yeah, pretty much. I, I, I would imagine he's doing a whole lot of work on his own. Stick around and support the stream. Add zero. Okay. And by honest capitalist, I mean like Michael Bloomberg will fucking say things where you're like, what the fuck? Is he hyping up China for no reason? Man, I forgot I'm watching a Hassan stream, so who knows when the fuck he's going to say something again. What the hell's going on here? How do you how do you rewind these? Can't rewind. I I, I can't ever remember how fucking Twitch works. 
I love the amount of young people Hassan gets into politics. Anyway. That is a good thing. Erm, national identity is counter revolutionary in the anarchist utopia that will magically materialize tomorrow. We will be solidarity. It's not even just anarchists that say that though. Like Yeah, so and there are failures of of developing like coherent, cohesive, super rigid national identities. Okay. But now that they've been successful, don't hear it as much. What do you mean? They kind of did say that stuff in the 2000s, but now that they've been successful, yeah. The so, yeah, I'll, 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 I don't want to just necessarily be talking over him the whole time. So his audio is pretty solid. Um, he's got he's got the Sure S2B or whatever the fuck. This is like the standard, hyper standard um, podcasting microphone. It's not a condenser mic like mine. It's uh, what, what what what's the difference between the Sure Sure mic. You know which one? The MF, MVX, MV7X, SMB7B is the uh, the standard one. This is what it is. So what uh what what, what is it? This it's a cardboard. It's dynamic, right? A dynamic vocal mic. Uh, I can't see. I can't remember the specific. And then I have the uh, Rodecaster. So this is my microphone. What? No. What the hell is this? That's not the. That's not the. Uh, podcaster. Road. Road podcaster. Where's my goddamn microphone? Procaster. Is that what it is? Is this my microphone? What the fuck are you called? Road. Broadcaster, Jesus fucking Christ, I'm stupid. There we go. So this is my mic. I didn't pay that much for it. I uh, I actively worked to get everything I can for cheaper. Fired only. God damn it. Okay, calm down. So this is a large diaphragm end address condenser microphone. The uh. I can't remember the, the specific distance or the specific difference um, between what it's called, but I think it's the uh, the large diaphragm, and then this is the dynamic that the uh, the Shure is. Mine has overall more sound to it, but it's also kind of harder to use, and it's a little bit more finicky. Um, the Shures are specifically rock star mics for talking almost only. You wouldn't want to do too much more with a Shure, although you can. Like, it doesn't make it impossible. A microphone's a fucking microphone. But it has certain um, strengths and limitations, and that's what you get when you get a microphone. This is pretty bog standard. As I recall, the Shure uses, needs um, additional equipment to work 100% appropriately. Um like uh, cloud plugins and stuff because of its electric, but it does have an extremely um, obvious sound profile, which you can hear when he's examples talking. Examples that are exactly in the opposite. <sighs> that sort of chunky, you can hear when he ends stuff and plosive, it has a kind of a chunky cutoff right there. He's also using a uh, noise gate, which is very professional. That's, that's awesome. I have a noise gate on here too. Noise gates are difficult to fuck with. Um, it basically cuts off the low end of sound. So when I start talk, stop talking and um, some particularly complicated noise gates, depending on how you can cut out oh, just Riley specific. Was asked for the same thing earlier this year. Yeah, yeah. So you can kind of hear it like uh, I'm not gonna watch this guy. Shures have this kind of vibe where they feel like they're I feel like they charge the more you talk into them. You can kind of get that like they feel really energetic and then they kind of end his with the uh, with the um, with the noise gate on it. it it's a pretty solid sound profile. Uh, Hassan obviously kind of a lazier dude. <laughs> And uh, doesn't doesn't pay too much attention to his mic placement. He also doesn't really give a fuck. Uh, his mic's a little too little too high into the right. Obviously, it's not pointed. It is an end address, so you need to be talking into this end. It's kind of up, and he keeps going back and forth and forth and back and forth and coming in and out of the uh, out of the um, the catch area of it. Uh, but his his audio has to be pretty solid, um, set up digitally. Basically, his post processing for him to catch all that, and it sounds. It sounds solid. I would give Hassan uh, nine, ten out of ten. I, 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 I guess I have to even hear his. Those who fucking said, uh, even those who were talking about like uh, Japanese imperialism of Korea. 
I'd have to hear his um his uh, secondary audio from like plays and stuff, but I, which I can't really quite get at. And I know I can watch this. Sh- I, I could watch this. Uh, this vod for a long time. Well, this is live actually. What would be a good microphone? Sorry. What would be a good microphone for outdoor audio? Let's say a vlog style mic. If you're gonna be walking around outdoors recording, um, it. Hold on a second. Uh, damn it. If you're going to be outdoors recording a, uh, a vlog style mic, it depends on if you're going to be talking with somebody else or if you're just going to be talking um, to uh, yourself, so to say, with like a camera. If you were going to go outside, you definitely don't want something like a cardioid, a uh, big condenser microphone because it is going to try to pick up everything, even stuff back here. You want a really isolated environment for these. Um, if I was going to go outside and record, I would try to, especially if I'm only recording to myself, get a good lav mic. Uh, those are the ones that go underneath your clothes or over the top of them. It's a thin wire and then it clips like right here at the top. And then when you get that, if you're going to be going outside, get what they call a dead cat. Um, it's a big fuzzy, uh, I have one here actually. It's a big, not even fuzzy, uh, a furry covering for the mic that basically absorbs the wind, right? And um, makes it so that uh, the wind doesn't blow directly onto the uh, microphone's receiver right here. So this is a this is a dead cat. This is for my Zoom mic, right? And I it goes right over the top of it. You could also use it on this and then it would talk like that. You can hear the muffling that it does. Um, if I show you, and they have these in all different sizes. But if I was to uh, if I was to put that over there like that, you can see uh, how it changes the sound profile just a little bit. But I can blow on the mic very directly, and you don't really hear it. So you're going to definitely need that when you go outside, because if you've never recorded outdoors, um, once you start going, um, you know, you once you record, if you have anything. Um, oh shit, this is me on my live stream. That's so fucking, that's so lame. Let me, once you go outside, I need to get that off of there. It's like picture in picture. Um, the, any tiny bit of wind on a, uh, receiver is going to be much louder. So this, you can hear how much bigger that is. And when you're dealing with, you know, 15, 25, 35 mile an hour winds outside, it could be pretty extreme. All right, um, but yeah, it's a tiny light. Get a, a tiny mic. Get a, a dead cat. If you're gonna be outside in general, always be using one. You'll see professional film crews using them too. They get very large. You see the drop down microphones that people have, uh, boom mics. You know they're coming down. Those will have a gigantic fucking dead cat on them. And some of those boom mics are actually condenser mics and stuff too. But generally, condenser mics are very expensive. I wouldn't want to take mine outside to use it, and it needs a uh, dedicated power source anyway. Lavalier mics can run. You can plug it right into your phone, have that connected to you, and then walk around talking into it. And you can also interview other people. They have lav mics that have two ends, so you can have both. Um, I have one, actually. So you can actually record both sides of a conversation with somebody mic'd up and um, you know, record it, too, all in, all in one go. If you're going to be recording other stuff, what I would use is a shotgun mic or, you know, it depends. I have the whole the whole thing. This is a shotgun mic right here. Um, this is the Deity Mic 3. It's super cheap. Fucking, I think I got, I think this is, it goes for like 150 bucks and I got it for like 50 or 60 for Christmas for myself basically a few years ago. This is good for direct mono sound capture. So if you want to, basically what this does is this has a cardioid pattern like this, like a little heart shape, right? That's very close. And you can kind of hear as I go in and out of it. This has an even tighter pattern and it goes straight forward, um, a pretty decent way before falling off. And so you can point this at stuff and record the noises. So if you want to go out and record, say, uh, the sound profiles of random shit that you see, if you want to try to record sound effects is what I use it for um, on different stuff, especially if it's like pre 
prefabricated sounds, uh, or not prefabricated, pre, um, before you make sound effects. If you want to record Foley, there we go. Uh, these are great. If you want to record more ambient noises, <laughs> then you would use something like this. This is a Zoom uh, HN2, H2N. This is a four-way microphone. It's got two channels going um, this way and that way. They're both cardioid channels. But this actually records in stereo or in four-way sound. So you can have full spatial audio that you have to mix together after the fact because it just records two stereo tracks. Um, but it records all the diffusion and stuff in them. So when you mix it, you can actually it actually feels like you can hear everything that's walking around this. So you could do like an audio play type thing walking around this thing and you would be able to hear the distance and space where everybody basically is uh, represented in that. I and mean, if you want to hear like, that's the thing I use the, the dead cat on the most um, because it is extremely sensitive. Um, and I use that to record ambient sounds, you know, uh, water moving, wind, <laughs> birds and trees, forests, um, uh, trains, weather, anything like that, any large spatial noise, you're going to want something more like that. You want, you especially want something that's in stereo because it's going to capture the breadth of the sound and the double channels are going to give a lot of space for those um, individual noises to kind of breathe within the recording. <clears throat> I am thinking of trying to make a leftist gun tuber channel, like say Grand Thumb, but not conservative Christian and from a leftist perspective. That's actually a pretty good idea. Um, yeah, for that, uh, I would use, I think they use uh, lavalier mics for recording themselves. And if you want to record the the guns um that you're shooting you that's a little bit trickier it depends on what you want to do and how you want to do it i think um a stereo ambient stereo thing like that turned almost all the way down um and you're gonna have to mess with your levels and change everything basically every time you shoot different guns you know uh because it's it, gun noises are hard to record because they're so loud and so short um, but a lot of times people really want that, you know, you shoot a big shotgun in the mountains um, on YouTube. It might just go like, you know, and you get that nice big, it's a gunshot. But, you know, if you actually shoot it in real life, you can hear that. So, you know, an ambient recording device can really help with that. You can do stuff like put sound shields in front of it, uh, which is more simplistic than you'd think. Just a chunk of foam a chunk of plastic, a reflector, something like that. You can fuck with it until you get the sound levels that you like. <clears throat> and that will basically just um, uh, thin out the noise of the explosion of the gun going off while still giving you like the native noises and shit if you want to try to get all of that in there. But that's, uh, that's high technical shit. And then you can, when you do post-processing, you can usually get the most out of those. All right, I am back. The stuff I would have had to do didn't come to be. Well, sick. Welcome back, doctor. Speaking of doctors, let's go In to... In reality, uh, most of the Greek odds... Dr. Sunday. President Sunday. Oh, yeah, he's not a doctor at all. So this is... Uh, we're going to continue our thing. This is Keffel's damage control. This guy did the same thing. Cover the same shit as I did. I don't really watch much um, President Sunday. Oh, my God. Really? Yeah, that sounds extremely loud on mine, but I can tell my desktop audio is catching that, so you can't hear how loud this is. But those bam, 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 that's, that's pushing towards zero. This is the comfiest boy. Bloody thing will ever load. Is he playing Mist? This is careful social blade. This has been the consequence of her defensive brand over these past few days. This is bad. That's 100 lost. Why is this music here? Over the last 30 days. I wish I had that many fucking subs to lose. 112 on the 29th. So I will tell you right now, his mixing's terrible. Um, massive points off for the mixing. I don't know if you guys can necessarily hear all this. Uh, I'm going to turn off again my uh, my my filters here. 
But in his case, he has his um, desktop audio, whatever he's playing, that audio file for his music is extremely loud. Um, compared to his voice, he has his microphone set pretty fucking far away from him. Let's see what these levels look like now. Lock. And this is quieter. This is um, guard your ears. So this is pretty high at the beginning. Um, uh, state state of Hegel is is. Oh yeah, this is really bad. I apologize to Keffels this very instant. She's a saint and doesn't deserve this. It's wild. I think I've heard people call him Napoleon Dynamite before, but that is that's a hundred percent the vibe. I don't know. He looks pretty comfy though. Comfy dude. Comfy fella. Vosh said he didn't want to talk about Brianna Wu. I'm not surprised Vosh doesn't want to talk about Brianna Wu. So we'll just go ahead. Other dangers for a Democrat, and I speculate, but I think this is one of the reasons why Destiny has been conspicuously absent from the, the public page of uh, Rokana. Because he, he mentions Keffels, he mentions Vosh. Sure. He doesn't mention Destiny, but Destiny Here we is go. really the biggest one there. That's interesting. So in this case, he's got a pretty decent mic. I'm going to guess this is a side address that's just pointed up and down because he's getting picked up at all. Um, he does not have a noise gate on. So you can um, actually hear. And again, I don't have data to back this. A lot of uh, background there, So I'm, I'm like easily distracted. Specifically here, I know his air conditioner is running. Um, I, I'm going to extrapolate from the He's got his uh, he's got his volume up so high because he's he's kind of neglecting his mic. He's setting it over there. The destiny thing, just the whole uh, the the Wu spiracy. Okay, <laughs> sure. just... I think that's that's probably fair. We're both a little bit interested in this. That's fine. Yeah. Um. So you you you, I'm I'm going to assume you roughly know my my positions on this so far. At least yeah, my I think my so. general concerns. Um. Maybe it would be easier, and it would definitely be easier for me if I can shunt all of the responsibility onto you. Um, did you want to uh, maybe outline maybe some of um, your sure, pushbacks? You to might... I think in his case, he's maybe a little bit too comfortable, uh, which I don't think he really seems to care too much about. I mean, we got empty liquor bottles and stuff over here, so uh, he's not probably not probably too concerned about this. Uh, thanks for the advice. It sounds loud to me, just not as loud as you probably find it. Fair enough. Oh my gosh, I gotta fix something really quick that I forgot about in this because I discovered recently that, and I, I have to do this immediately, that uh, my, or I forget, so you guys can actually see this, my um my stream element stuff, oh, I can't do it here, never mind. I need to fix my stream elements um, thing so that it's not overlapping my bunny cam space. Well, I guess if I just made the bunny, you know what, I'm just gonna turn that off because he's not coming in here tonight anyway. And we'll figure that out later. Turn that little light off down there. But anyway, as I was saying, yeah, his uh, his audio is pretty, pretty bad. Um, he would have to get a little bit better yeah, mic let distance. Yeah, give you my thoughts. And, and this is, I'll say this up front, a, a delicate subject. I think it's an important subject. I can't tell, but it sounds almost like he's listening to this this, this audio through his speakers and it's also being picked I, up by the mic? Uh, my beliefs are always subject to change when presented with new information or compelling arguments. So anybody who disagrees with things I say, please be at least a little bit charitable. Attention of As a consequence of her positions on these things, she makes it a little bit more financially And then she says, just, just to clarify, your DMs video are, like it's, just, it's, it's just downplaying immediately. It would have been better to say nothing. She could have just said nothing. That would have been the smart thing to do. I was traveling in a foreign country and I had COVID and I didn't actually look into all of the things that were said. So this might be, this is kind of hard to judge because he's listening to Keffel's audio and I don't know if Keffel's audio is particularly good either. She's using the Shure SMB again here too. Um, I would say overall, I would give uh, President Sunday's audio maybe a three or a four out of ten. It's pretty bad. It has a lot of room for improvement. Definitely, it needs improvement, but it's not completely shit. Um, definitely needs better mic placement. You shouldn't be stop being so comfortable <laughs> and, uh, and and try to get a little bit more into the production aspect if you're gonna be you know on the internet making stuff. Uh, I mean, this is advice that I'm giving to somebody that's bigger than me, but unironically, like this is just something that any producer would tell you. 
get closer to that mic, turn that mic's gain down. That's probably what's picking up so much of the background noise. I can hear a steady whine. Um, any microphone, once you turn it up sufficiently high, uh, and I'm not going to demonstrate for you, but you, you'll start getting gain distortion and feedback and stuff. It'll start making like weird noises, picking up a lot of the general stuff in the room, you know, and nobody's, um, not sharing your screen, just a heads up, Tyler. Oh, shit. Am I? My bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. Uh, I did switch off on that. All right, screen. There we go. So um, it is, you don't really need to see it too much because it is an audio stream, thank God. Um, but, yeah, in his case, um, definitely I would try to get a noise gate. I would try to fix my mic distance. His is the worst so far, by far. Um, you can hear his voice. His voice sounds pretty good. Um, so his his like when we get to mastering aspect of it, he it, he does have his um, output volume at a pretty reasonable level. Uh, I don't know if he just raw turned on some audio filters to get that done, or if he got lucky. But um, his output is loud enough for me to hear, and I think I could turn it down pretty significantly, or even walk away from you know the microphone, stereo, whatever you have you, and uh, actually still fucking hear it, which is pretty good. So yeah, definitely room for improvement. Um, if you pop back, I would also try to, like, I'm probably going to say for most of these people, get some sort of compression and or limiting on your, uh, desktop audio, your secondary audio, whoever's coming through on there so that you can boost that up. And even though you won't really be able to hear what the audience is hearing necessarily, you can at least be checking your desktop audio outputs to make sure that it's not insanely quiet. I fucked that up. I fucked that up really bad on a video recently. I'm not exactly sure how I did it. Um, or if something just reset inside of OBS, but actually when I was talking about the, uh, the, the, the super pastors, their volume was insanely low on my output. And I had to readjust that for every single one of them when I actually cut the video. So everything does, you know, it, it, it's never going to be perfect, but that's definitely something to work on. Uh, we already did Vosh. Jake will save. How about Kanye? For vile pieces, of unfortunately, yeah, no sh. They're God. If the Christian God is real, he's a fucking dickhead, piece of sh ass, mother. F because Hell he yeah. allows for all manner of suffering. Present, and if he is all powerful, would not allow this to happen. Now, of course, if there is a God, they probably operate more like uh, Greek gods in that they have their own. So this is the streamer Conyer who um, has a, I think, I don't know, it was like Vosh's like roommate, girlfriend, boyfriend, something. I can't remember. Um, the leanings. Significant and other. And they don't have as much power. And they only have like limited amount of power, but I've married. I cannot yeah, see yeah. what kind of mic they have, yeah, but they yeah. are using the exact same uh, mic stand that I have right here, which is a pa basic road. He's got it just, uh, or she's got it, I think, actually, in just a uh, slightly different way. Saints, like, it's so much more boring. Maybe monotheistic religion is easier to concentrate power under? Yeah, probably. It also reinforces a inherently, like, all-powerful ruler kind of idea. Sorry. Greek pantheon is a variety of gods that share Turn power and can actually have disagreements with each other and stop each other from doing certain things and stuff like that. That's a more democratic system... And obviously, this is not democratic at all because they're incredibly more powerful than mortals are. That's yeah, so power but I have my uh, I generally have my my volume up kind of high on my computer so I can I can hear good um, and hear all the stuff that I'm working on uh, with Conyer. Definitely. Oh, the Mega Pastor stream was your first stream, man. It feels like that was forever ago, but I think it was only just a week. Um, that was a good stream. Uh. Conyer's volume is definitely low. I don't think Conyer's doing maybe almost any post-processing. Uh, they might be not have any uh, familiarity with it, or if they are doing it, they might not realize that their volume's not particularly great. Um, uh, just checking with my my filters off on their desktop audio, they're hitting up, they're peaking at right around 15, um, even but with my... Between themselves. Even with my compressor boosting there, them, if there they're still not going up pretty entity high. entity on top that controls everything, it's incredibly more authoritarian. Because of that, it also reinforces the idea... They also have a lower way of talking. So unlike... I, I'm, I'm a very loud person, and so I tend to have really high peaks when I talk. Connor's talking like a little bit further back here and, and, and very conversational, so they don't have a lot of peaks. With my compressor, it's getting them over 18 um, at the base, which is fine. Their, their bottom of their um, 
the bottom of their audio yeah that in the mortal plane that it should be okay and in fact even just to have a very low i mean we're 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 just sitting pretty casually around a uh, around a 25 so yeah, if I was Conyer, I would definitely, I would definitely put some basic compression on there and a limiter. Um, I think they're not doing any post processing. They also have slightly bad mic placement. That mic's a little too close. Uh, even with a cover on it, sh uh, they're getting some some pretty bad plosives because they're they're p -p 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 talking like this, and so when they're this close to it, you're going to be hearing um, the voice, your voice a little bit, a little bit worse. I'm going to guess if we hear see a uh, see a person be a king. A video. A dictator. They're not going to have you any know? post processing. So she's an old yeah. woman. Her name's unfortunately. Wait, wait. The likelihood comes to Dan. The knowledge fruit. <clears throat> That's why I've not been streaming as much for anybody. Yeah. Um, I don't think that, you know, like Conyer even said right there, I don't think they uh, uh, stream very often. Um, or if they do, you know, whatever. It's not a major thing. They're just making a bunch of shorts here and, and getting in and off. Not the worst audio. Um, their mic is definitely making up for uh, any shortcomings in their post-processing. Or most of the shortcomings in their pro post-processing. But they could definitely use with a, a serious boost um, to just their basic speaking voice. And that, that's going to fix up a lot of stuff. I would say needs improvement. Uh, I, I want to save Jake. Let's see. Let's see. Demon Mama. Okay. No thanks. Demon Mama. But God bless you. Should I get? Can I get a? Can I get like a? a thing? Should I have more vibey music like this in the background? Or do you guys like my creepier music? Wait, is this not live? Streamed three hours ago, but it's only six minutes. Happened. Those of you who are here are the chosen few. I'll see you in just a. Oh, okay. Whoops. Let's go to this. Do the amazing. Help save lives. Donate plasma today at CSL Plasma. So. <laughs> frenzy has begun and so these are these are uh commercials right and you can hear this on my audio the way that that's not it's getting considerably louder than my my voice naturally because this is a fully compressed very very full sound wave so it's just going to sound louder even though it's actually quieter when i'm talking i'm i'm hitting up to three and stuff this is being capped at a uh 15 it's time for us to paint the world it actually might be Let's see. Let's see how loud this is. Just so you guys can get an explainer of what I'm talking about when I talk about your secondary SRL. audio. SRL. You could say, uh, hey, hello. I wanted that commercial back, God damn it. Never mind. Oh, people, uh. Never mind. But yeah, that I have these compressors and this big limiter I have on here um, help it so that if there is extra loud stuff in the background, it, it keeps it from being too loud. So that's what a limiter does, basically. Uh, die and suffer um if creepy they, music they is fun this thing i feel like that's fairly easy to do uh like well i don't know i don't know i'm a little confused well, the thing is though but you're saying people die and suffer why yeah, do sure. they die and suffer well, i mean that's complicated right like uh, that's a super complicated question well we're talking directly about dysphoria and suffering from suicide ideation, okay so i mean if you want to be very specific to trans things you okay so want to know yeah how... demon mama's vo demon mama's volume here is very bad uh this is very bad audio so far argument for, you want to make the argument for how you convince uh um, so how you she has no closeness to her mic that might be an aesthetic choice if it is it's a bad one um if if you put this much work into your, I'm gonna make this bigger for you guys. If you're putting this much work into your backgrounds and stuff, and you have this little bit of limit, I would just try to boom your mic up over the top of your head and drop it down at your face, so that you could get better pickup. It's fairly clear to me, unless I'm missing something, that her mic is somewhere off screen over here, uh, very very far away from her, and she's not doing a sufficient amount a sufficient enough amount of post-processing to make up for that uh, volume differential. Even if this is a one-off stream where she's doing this, I would say not planning ahead to fix that is kind of a mark that generally maybe her other audio is bad. I think I I remembered, I kept Demon Mom in my head because I think they have generally pretty bad audio.
you convince um but yeah without my my filters and stuff 40 year old to his swine mom i mean personally i think yeah without my filters and stuff louder she's getting she's peaking at about an eight uh, or not an eight <laughs> peaking at about a um, 14 and generally hovering in around 20 to 20 30 30 to 20 um, which it, it might be showing up green for you or, or something but it's it's only going to be popping up a little bit here and there Any, anything in general in my mind um, underneath about 25 or 20 yeah underneath about 25 if it's if it's hovering right there you're you're going to be uh, you're basically almost at ambient ambient levels of noise so anything is going to sound louder than you human voices have a tendency to cut because our ears want to hear a human voice um, but especially if you're that low they're not going to be getting the timber of your voice they're not going to be getting the vibe of it it's going to sound very far away very distant um, and it's it's not going to be as overall pleasant as it could even if that's an aesthetic choice it's not one that i think you should make unless you have a fabulous fucking reason for it also, I can tell that there is no post-processing or, or very little post-processing going on with her volume because, as we can see, the interlocutor that she's speaking with, I don't know exactly who it is, is considerably louder than her. Um, that person has uh, a good like 10 dB, basically, of boost over the top of Demon Mama. The, uh, the, the, the best way that you can make that argument is... Yeah, right here... Right here, Demon Mom is barely clearing um, 34, which is actually where I generally set a, uh, a noise gate. So in that case, if your room isn't particularly quiet, you're only going to be slightly louder, you know, or more present than air conditioners, than the hum of your PC running, things like that. And it can really affect your, your overall listenability. Um, you you can tell right here when I put my compressor and my limiter on for my desktop audio um, okay, how much of a boost a random individual person that I'm giving her. I'm trying to you go. Oh, I'll stop talking, but you can tell how much of a boost I'm giving her so that you guys can better hear lower sounds when oh, I'm. Playing I'm trying them. to convince. This is a pressing population. issue for some people. Uh, people seek this out and and want this they want to be able to take care of their body there is so that's with the compression eyes in one way or another like i mean i don't know you can you could talk about a lot of things you could talk about dysphoria i've never and uh, I've never said without it and with it back on dysphoria. here i do that all the time i talk about the importance of dysphoria of course the limiting but, is uh, important that, because i'm also well, going to be boosting this much louder person behind her and i'm going to want to cut that out now I, I do run the risk because that other person is so much louder than the main person i'm hearing of, of possibly giving them some clipping, but that's really just an issue that is mostly going to be hopefully dealt with by the upper end of my compressor. It's going to soften off that and, uh, you know, it, get, it just softly clip, soft clipper, um, softly clip off the, the upper ends of that and kind of gently lower the top of it so that they don't crack and break and hit my, uh, hit my actual limiter and just completely shatter. But like that's one of the most one of the biggest reasons to make sure that your audio is as close to good as you can get it is because when you know if, if people can't hear you and they're here to hear you as they're here to hear Demon Mama in this case, they're gonna want to turn you up, and then they're gonna be penalized for turning you up by hearing the person who's talking with you, your interlocutor, way too loud. And most people's systems don't have a lot of or maybe even any native compression, native limiting, um, you know, built in to keep that from being <laughs> breaking and stuff. You know, if you're listening to on a phone, um, it, it's, it's going to sound fucking terrible, you know, laptop speakers and shit. And so you're going to have to choose between, you know, where, where is this very imperfect gray zone of how loud I want to listen to this. Also like, um, people like, Okay. You can't see the OBS settings I'm showing. I'm not showing you guys the uh, OBS settings yet because that's like, I don't, I don't even know if they'll actually show up. Let me, because I have my OBS. I don't know where the settings are in it. Yeah, that's, I don't think it's going to show up. Hold on a second. I'm going to watch. Lord Sanguinius arrives. Hell yeah. I can't believe you pronounce timber like timber. I, I can't, I can't say things in a French accent. I think it's Tombra. We're like that. I can't do that. There's a German in my heart that refuses to permit me to pronounce uh, French the correct way. Yeah. So in my in my thing, I have my OBS set so that you cannot see 
my settings. I should, let me see if I can fix that real quick so you guys can actually see a little bit more of what I'm talking about. Stream output. This is tricky. Hopefully it's not one of those things I have to start everything over for. Audio, video, hotkeys, accessibility. I'm probably in general, I might've gone too hard. Output, automatically record when streaming, show confirmations, source, projectors, hide cursor, system tray, enable. Limit one full sp uh, preview. Hide overflow, overflow always visible, draw safe areas. Porter studio mode, show preview program labels. Fuck, where is it? It's such a treat, it might be even just a right click thing, is it? No, let's see, maybe it's in view. Multi view, I gotta make sure I don't accidentally click like one weird thing and then shut everything down. Edit, order, preview, scaling, lock, preview, advanced audio, transform, view, docs, file, show recording, settings. In stream. Check for updates, help. Hmm. It's pronounced somewhat like tambourine, tomber. Tomber, is that how you're supposed to say it, tomber? The tomber of it, that's, that's insane. I don't like that. <laughs> uh, close. Hold on, just saying, I think I can figure this out so that we can actually, you can actually see all this shit. Edit, copy, transform, order, preview, lock preview, advanced audio, it's not gonna be any of those. I feel like it should just be part of this. Maybe it's properties? Unload image, no. All right, I'm gonna try looking through settings one more time and see if I've... Snap sources. Hide cursor, make projectors on top, save. Limit one. System tray. Always minimize and set test bar. Hide overflow. Show overflow even when source is invisible. I don't know exactly what that means. I think that's this thing. Draw safe areas. Stream. No. Output. Audio is definitely not going to be in there. Video, hotkeys, disability, advanced. Shit and ass. I know I can so show some things in there, but I can't show everything, which is so super weird. Hmm. Sources? And this is like... Encoding overloaded. Consider turning down video settings. What? How is my encoding overloaded? This isn't that this isn't that big of a deal. I'm so baffled. Alright. I can't I can't figure out how to show you guys this thing just yet. I think I have to No, because it's capture window. That's that's it. That's what it is. That's what it is. Oh my god. I did figure it out. Okay, so this is my scene art screen. Okay, so close that. Display capture. This is it. Okay, I figured it out. I actually said it out loud and then I, I managed to figure it out what it is. So properties, is this it? Capture cursor, yes. Force SDR. Standard definition resolution, right? Uh, capture method automatic. Cancel. That's not it. Shit. Scale filtering, order, transform. I can't quite figure it out. Tyler taking 25 minutes to find one option. It's like, I don't even know if it really even exists. 
there's just one thing then it says like hide uh hide like fucking whatever the hell H hide the things for this it should just be in here display capture capture method automatic yes force sdr capture no cancel Because like I'm, I have this right here. You can see like where my 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 fucking where my thing. That's me moving this on there for you guys, but I can't see it, so it's rough. Oh no, I lost a subscriber. While I was when talking. You're talk if you're talking <laughs> about like how to get insurance and whatever, um, but um, yeah, I'll just I'll just I don't know what I'll just. I don't really know how to fix this. I know for a fact that OBS can record itself because you can get the infinite hall of mirrors effect with it. I know, but I just don't know how to turn the infinite hall of mirrors back on. Snap sources. I just keep seeing everything. Is this it? No, that's not it. When in doubt, Google. Fair enough. Yeah, let's see. We'll just we'll take a we're we're taking a break. Cancel. There we go. Sorry about this, guys. This is not hype. How Windows inside OBS. Capture. DM is staring disapprovingly at me. I mean, really, yeah, I talked all that shit and then I can't actually get OBS to fucking <laughs> to work the right way, right? Uh, how about if I do a window capture? Show me this. Properties, filters, let's see. Filters, properties, client area. Yeah, it just won't even, it won't even show anything. Maybe I can uh, display capture, let's see, add. Display capture two. Okay. Is that it? Can you guys see primary monitor? Okay, cool. All right. So, and now that I did that, can you guys see the audio mixer? No, you cannot. <laughs> God damn it. It's just going straight through to my Discord. That's so stupid. All right. That's definitely something I've got to try to figure out off screen. I can't. It's just telling me to do like projectors and shit, and that stuff will like kill me. I, I can't use it. But I can bring up pictures and stuff of what to do anyway, or just show you with FL Studio uh, because the, the principles are basically the same. I'm, I'm apologies. Not hype. Unhype fucking stream. Definitely deserve to lose a sub. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Demon Mama shit definitely needs improvement. So let's see. We're going to check out Xander Hall's uh, audio now. What mob am I voting for? Is the mob... Line all the time. Check out the band Sweet Myths and the new song they released about Xander. Yo, I can't stay long, but I wanted to say I started listening to Sin Carriers and I actually really enjoyed the writing style. So much so it actually made me want to write for the first time in a bit. Well, hey, man, that's fucking cool. Thanks. I'm glad you enjoyed it, Shep. I enjoyed writing it, too. <laughs> so, let's see.
So he does not probably have mastering on. Still sounds pretty good. That's such a weird song. Um, but yeah, that's the, that's going to about a 10. So we're, we're going to go ahead and just get into Xander Hall talking. As we get closer to Halloween, I was thinking the next game we play, Resident Evil So without my assistance on. Remake. Profoundly I've never quiet. I've played Resident Evil 4. And I, I heard the remake's good. And I like the Resident Evil games. I think I should get the Resident Evil 4 remake and play through that, like around and on Halloween. What do you guys think of that? Yeah, so with um with 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 his audio definitely way too quiet. Um there's a lot of variability. Um there's a lot of dynamics, what you would say, in his speaking voice. So he's going up and down quite a bit. Um that's that's because he does not have any compression on there. The compression will remove some of that dynamics. You don't want to remove too much or it will sound weird. Um, but yeah, he could definitely use with full compression. Uh, just the compressor that I have on here, by the way, which is the, the compression I use for my desktop audio is uh, ratio 1.5 to 1. Thresholds at 18.8 um, dB attack, 4, mil, 4 milliseconds, a long-ish release, 102 milliseconds, long-ish for talk basically, but not, not very long for music or something else, uh, and an output gain of 4.4 decibels. So it's, it's crushing it and it's returning it to right around where it was. Um, and, and, and basically just and shrinking up the area that it's in without giving it too, too much, too, too much boost. Um, my limiter is set at negative six decibels for desktop audio and my side comp side chain compression is extremely high. It's ratio, uh, 20 to one. So, um, every time for every decibel, it's supposed to go up, it goes down 20. <laughs> so it's like flat almost. Um, the threshold is over 22 decibels, which is still plenty to hear. Um, that actually my, my side chain compression wouldn't even kick in on some of these people when they're talking because they're, they're so quiet. Uh, attack for release 204 milliseconds. So once I crush them, it takes almost a, a quarter of a second to come back. Boom, boom, boom. And the sidechain ducking source is obviously my mic. Yay, audio stream. Hey, welcome back, Mecca. Um, so yeah, this is uh, this is this is Xander Hall's audio. Xander Hall's shit is always a little weird. I think maybe it's his aesthetic. I I he's got these like alternating lights, but he has since he moved to this new place. He was one of the people I was watching the most. He's too dark usually. Like he needs some light on him. That's my general idea for uh because for you know. He has all of these really bright lights back here. These are actually fairly large. This is this is getting to. It looks like there's a key light missing from him. I have this key light right here. If I didn't have that, you'd be seeing variability from my windows as the sunset, uh, and then the closest to like a hair light, you know, or even a fill is just the reflection of my walls and this this fan light that's over the top of my head. It's not a very good lighting setup. Um, pretty much basic. I like these glowing backgrounds. I would probably do something like that if I had the time i probably wouldn't use these uh the bisexual lighting colors because it's not my vibe even remotely i'd probably be it was something more along the lines of like sickly uh midnight gas station green and red you know something like that very unsettling um uh, stomach wrenching sickening colors that's what i would prefer behind me i would like everything to look like a movie from the late 90s um, but yeah, yeah, uh, he needs, he needs a, a fill on the side of his face right here. He's very sideways. Um, this is just like a thing with, I guess, a bunch of the white leaf streamers. They all go sideways. Gaming streams going into the future. Hell yeah. But yeah, I mean, this happens Hell to me yeah. too. I don't have enough light on me generally because I can't put lights where my, the back of my wall is. Uh, I, uh this is also just, you know, free time for me. So I don't have the time to set that up, but if I could, I would have, my light that's up here back where it was behind the thing, but it keeps falling down back there and it doesn't work very well. And it's too direct and too bright. I don't have a diffuser on it. So it makes me look really shiny when it's on me. Uh, but every time I do anything, I can see my, my, my monitors when they change light, like changing the amount of light on my face, which isn't great. Um, but I think it's kind of fine. I guess if that's the, like the, the vibe you want, I mean, but it does look, he does look like a sleazy guy watching porn when the light comes on, you know, it's that, that it's reflecting in his eyes. It's a little, little goofy looking. Yeah. 
Let's see. Um, turn off the key light for demonstration. My key light? Uh, okay. Yeah, the, prepare for it to get dark. If you look at some of the old streams, So, ooh, that's pretty dark. So you can see um, when I have that off, I'm I'm considerably darker because you know when you have a light source, the light sources are direct. So everything that's hitting me in the face right now is just from my from my my screens, right? Which makes it first off harder for the autofocus on the camera to catch my face. Um, but also, you know, I am darker than my background, right? Which you don't want to do. You want, you want the subject to be lit and the background to be uh, at that level or, or generally um, darker to some degree or, or, or just distinctive um, from them. But yeah, it, it, it's, it's very, very, very dark. And when I first started doing some of these streams and trying to record, I didn't have the key light. And um, yeah, I, I relied on the light from my window, which is okay when I'm checking it because it's good natural light, but it's variable. So a cloud flies over the screen and I go wham, 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 back and forth. And of course, without the, any lights, it's dark, dark. I actually want to see what that looks like. We could do scary game stream, you know, like this at some point. I think this might be like a fun Halloween thing. I've been considering doing a 24 hour stream where I read, uh, like I, I wanted to try to like read all of HP Lovecraft or something like that, uh, because it's public domain and I feel like it would be weird reading my own stuff, but I might read my own stuff too. Um, and this, this actually could be pretty good cause that is pretty fucking creepy. I, I actually, I actually do like the way that that looks, the underlighting, but yeah, I'll turn everything back on. <laughs> I guess you can, I can try to show you this with just the key light. We have this, it's a little extra bright, but you can see the side of my face isn't filled in. I look very, um, I look very Dutch masters. -y. I've got the, uh, I've got the triangle of light cast from my, uh, that makes it past my nose right here. It makes it extremely dimensional, but obviously you can see, um, I have all these I kind of, yeah. I have all these dark spots in the back where you can see all of the shadows that are being cast from the direct light, which is pretty distracting. I think, um, it wouldn't be so bad if your set is like designed for that, or if you want it aesthetically, you know, all these aren't like hard rules, the aesthetics, the aesthetics work. But once you get the, the, this, this fill light in now the room's pretty well lit. The shadows are, are mitigated. They're still there because that key light's so strong. But I have plenty of light on my face. You can see me. Um, the camera has more light to make a picture from so that I seem more... Um, you can see my camera auto-focused on me. The, uh, the audio focus can see me. So if I get comfortable, if I lean back, if I lean forward, if I do anything like that, um, you know, it, it, it can be adjusted. I still don't like the amount of shadow on, my, on the side of my face right here. That's be oh, That's why. which I just fixed because I had my, my light tilted. Um, I have umbrella diffusers because I used to be a photojournalist that I can probably attach to that thing, um, but it's got a really bad base on it and I don't have any sandbags. And that's just like starting to be a lot of work. You know, I, I don't want to be, I don't want to be the guy that's putting in too much effort with my bootstrap ass uh, shit and I've only got 158 <laughs> followers. You're losing them, losing them midstream. Uh... But yeah, um, this is uh, this, that, 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 those are some of the basics, right, for lighting and shit. If you, I, I would not personally, I know some people really like the ring lights. Um, I don't like the ring lights at all. I started with the ring light. That's actually what's on my, my bunny cam whenever that works. I'm actually going to turn that off. No, I vanished. There we go. Uh, because he's not going to be coming in here tonight. I've got that door closed and that's very bright. But that is a ring light on there. And, um, those can be good, but when they're especially small, they don't provide as much illumination as a true ring light, which should be the size. It should be the size of like the outside of your head. 
and you use the camera directly for it. And that's for modeling, basically. It gives you those irritating fucking rings in your eyes. Some people enjoy that. I find it unfathomably fucking irritating. I, I hate it. I hate seeing your lighting source in your eyes, um, especially your artificial lighting source that's five feet away from you. It's extremely distracting to me. I, I don't know. It, it's like if you're like a carpenter or something and you just see somebody hasn't like gone through the trouble to like cover over their finishing nails. Like, come on, man. <laughs> what, the fuck? what did, was that intentional? This looks like shit to me at least. Realistically, if you were to do a spooky stream, I think it should be lit and crunched down with color correction rather than actually dark just so you have full control over the fact. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, I do have some other stuff. You going to go for bisexual lighting at some point or no? No, I don't think I don't like that. I appreciate the aesthetic. Like when I say I don't like aesthetics for me, I usually mean for me. For other people, it works. You know, for um, Zan, for his vibe, he's pretty laid back. He's pretty chill. He's got those little all those things. I think that that works for him. But if I had those colors behind me, it just wouldn't make any sense. I'm not that kind of guy. I'm not built that way. Um, I think I said this a second ago. I don't know if this is before or after, but, um, Halloween stream with candlelight. If, if I, I would have to use fake candles cause I would be too nervous about burning my fucking life down. Uh, but yeah, if I did anything, it would be like red lights or something like that, or some sort of like interesting track lighting, something, I don't know. Uh, maybe just even a fucking green screen or, you know, if I get my, if we end up moving or anything like that and I can actually build a set or if I get finished with this room, that would be great. If I actually take the time, I'm going to rip these walls out right here and get all this done. All that's white behind me because it's primer. I built those walls. Um, and we haven't fixed this wall yet because it's about to fall off of the fucking bones. And once that's done, this is going to be like a really dark purpley color. That's actually more my vibe. I know that's actually like the mid between these, but trust me, it'll work better. Your vibe would be explosions going off out your windows. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, but yeah, this what is uh topics do we have today? Oh, we got yeah, you can just hear how much quieter he is. Good ones. We're gonna be talking about Ben Shapiro. We're gonna be talking about an anti debate bro hit piece, another hit piece on Keffels about whether or this, not uh, racist. the one thing I don't like about his lighting is how variable it is and how many different colors it has. I think they don't really suit him, and I think that's why I notice it the most is because it does range from like you know the standard bisexual colors whatever the blue and uh, maroon kind of vibe to this like yellow and gold and then here and so if you have like any color on you know when you're going through this big rainbow of uh transition it can be kind of jarring in my opinion uh what is all this one because they donated 10 um and I, if I was editing, I mean, maybe that's actually why he does it. That's a good idea, honestly. Um, that's like the clock in The Simpsons. You can tell that there's a cut there because all of these lights are constantly changing. That actually might be a solid idea. It'd be good. That might be uh, that might be a solid thing for anybody to do. Just put some sort of like um, unchangeable active timer inside of your your stream so that people can't cut you and clip you out of out of focus, or out of context. Let's see. All right, oh, we got Grumpy Ben here. Let's see how his uh, how his secondary audio is. He's got Homer facial hair, but like, generally, you know, your facial hair is meant to be like. Ah, oh, damn it! You know, a bit of a. Watch a fucking video, Zan. God damn you! I'm trying to fucking prove a point here. And it's just looking at memes. There we go. Far right movement that focuses in on saying the unsable, and now many of the red pilled have taken the position. That Something wow. is, I, I heard people say that like he had filler done, but I think this guy had like some sort of like soft palate surgery because he's sounded weirder. And like this whole chunk of him doesn't move right anymore. Like I've been seeing Ben Shapiro for like 10 fucking years now, right? I, I, I basically grew up with the guy and his face looks fucking weird now. Like, am I crazy? It's like, remember when, remember when Zac Efron stopped looking like Zac Efron like over the course of like a summer where he disappeared and then he came back and it was like you know like in an anime when they comically redraw like a normal like character in like the style of an old like uh um delinquent shonen manga where they got the fucking like angry eyes and the big square nose and stuff like that happened to Zac Efron I feel like somebody tried to redraw Ben Shapiro as well like the guy's got like a completely different look. It's very strange. 
I don't know if it's maybe he's just trying to go more like business casually or something, but there's something up with his fucking lips. Uh, I actually have a bunch of fake candles on hand for whenever the power goes out. I love drawing by candlelight. That's awesome. Ben is so much louder. Is he not? Do I not have the thing on, by the way? I'm sorry. Filters. Okay, I, I do have my, I have my compressor and my limiter here. Um, is, it, is it blowing you guys out? Hold on. Red pill. Uh, uh, Sneeko does it. Aiden Ross does it. Andrew Tate does it. Uh, what, what's his name? Rice Gum does it. Whale and moving like, fund zero. See twelve year olds on the internet say respect to this person for insert and feeling a poison rally. Man, you know, you can't like I'm scroll just a little. Right movement that focuses in on. Yeah, yeah, he is. Well, folks, there's something called the red pill movement. It's sort of a far right movement that focuses in on. This actually sounds extra loud on his thing, but he definitely has his his volumes most so much louder than Zan. Yes, yes, yes. I was just hoping I didn't blow you guys out. <laughs> A uh, few long work day over. Time to go throw Tyler on the Xbox mm -hmm. and figure out dinner. Hell yeah, man. Good luck, Matt. Um, but yeah, his 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 vo his volume's much better. He's got the sure. He's got good mic distance. I mean, they're all preset up like perfectly. He's got. You can see he's got this key light right here. He's got a fill over here, and he even has a. Um, it might actually be this um, terrace. I don't know if that's a real terrace or if that's a. Uh, a glowing backlight. You can actually get semi-transparent, um, blown up pictures like this and shine a light on it, right? If you put it in a big wooden frame, you set it up, that's how you make a basic set. Then you shine a light, literally just a big ass light, bright one with like a, a diffuser on it so that it's not, it doesn't concentrate in a specific area or you can even concentrate it in a specific area so it looks like the sun and it will illuminate that entire trans semi translucent paper and blow it out white so that it looks like just outside and then you can get this effect and you can see how crisp the outside of his outfit is you can see every every little detail on his ears and shit it, it money a perfect setup unironic I, I know i don't ever have to look probably at ben shapiro stuff because he's got an eye for um high production value i i hate to admit it you know but you know, when you have to give your enemy their due you have to give it to him He's always basically on it as far as his productions go. Um, that audio sounds weird through listening it through, listening to it through Zan stream, which I won't blame on him. I'm going to blame that more on Zan. That might actually be hitting the in inside of his audios, uh, his audio programs limiter, and that's why that's getting it has that weird vibrate edge to it. Um, but without it, um, just hold your hold on to your butts. I got the compressor and the limiter off saying the unstable and now many of the red pilled have taken the position that yeah on. so his is his is pretty solid i can see that um ben's was especially compressed in that video uh, at least as it's playing through here he was he was really really sticking right between 10 and 18 which is fine um he's a little bit of a back talker he's when ben shapiro talks he talks right back here right in the back of his throat so everything is very very on point he does not have a lot of dynamic uh, alteration in his he does not raise his voice he does not yell so when he's talking you do not see a lot of dynamic variation which means it's very easy to increase the volume on him and you'll hear him better great way to talk if you're gonna be talking through a microphone very quickly that's just a, a, an opinion I like to talk like I talk um, so if you ever have to edit my voice every one of my sound waves goes boink went bunk went bunk went because I, I talk big at the beginning and uh, I tend to get a little bit quieter toward the end. I have a lot of dynamic range to my voice. Um, that's not like a good or a bad thing. It's just the nature of how I talk. It's more probably related to the dialectics of where I grew up than uh, any intentional or like birth thing that might have happened to me. But yeah, uh, you can tell that definitely he's... Red pill originated nah. you can see yeah like well you guys can't see it but um zan is zan's barely hitting just over 25 um on his peaking when i have all my stuff off he's pretty fucking low pretty fucking low i wish i had a way that i could show you guys these levels but i just don't right now um but when i turn the compressor back idea on we get a little bit more like zan the idea was if you're liberal, he's generally going up to 10 your blue he's actually getting a very significant boost also, his mic distance is changing, so he is getting Pilled. louder, too. And if you're conservative or right-leaning, you're red pill. That was the idea. It was like... Later, chat. Bye, Matt. A lot of the right-wing grifters have staff who clearly know how to set up a streaming set and audio pretty well. Yeah, it, it's not... 
it's not difficult. That's the thing. It, it a lot of it really does just come down to money. If you want the same setup that I have, um, roughly to get to just to get from my to get my voice online, everything that I have in between it, my DAW the digital audio workstation is two hundred bucks. It's FL Studio producer, which is basically the cheapest good DAW out there, um, as far as I'm concerned. When I did all my pricing, but I've had it since 2019. Um, my computer is now four years old. I'm actually gonna have to increase the graphics card on it soon. Um, it was nine hundred dollars or eleven hundred dollars when I got it. It's a pretty standard PC. Uh, you don't have to worry too much about audio uh, when, you, when you're putting your PCs together. Most PCs just have an audio chip as part of the motherboard or, or whatever the CPU. You can get audio cards, which are light graphics cards, and it makes your audio processing apparently better. But I don't think there's I, I don't think there's any real benefit in getting all of that from what I understand, unless possibly that might be something that you have to do when you're trying to master shit for 7.8 mega surround or something like that, which I've never done. Or if you're going to be actually processing audio for like the London Philharmonic orchestra and you have individually mic'd up the entire fucking orchestra, the pits and like every drum, then you probably might need that. But um, I've run, most of my stuff has, you know, 40 fucking plugins and like 20, 30 tracks going with various samples. And I've never, I've never even gotten my PC, I think over like 25% as hot as I run it. I am curious, do you use your audio setup when chatting with people over discord or do you just use the raw mic audio? Um, Oh yeah, no, it's just it, it's just this raw mic. This uh, this mic goes directly into my my preamp and then into the computer, and it sounds pretty good on its own. I guess I should show you guys what the, what this sounds like um, without me assist without my assistance on it. Uh, filters. So this is my noise gate is on. This is with it off. Um, I don't know if you guys will actually be able to pick anything up. This is my limiter is now off, but I'm not even talking loud enough to get to my limiter. And with my compressor off, you can see that my voice is actually considerably lower right here. Um, I actually could probably stand to have it a little higher. Uh, my, my gain could be up a little bit more, but I think it's fine where it is. But you can see that I'm actually pretty close to um, where like Xan and some of the other people are like, you just need a compressor on there. That's that. This is literally what I mean. When uh, my compressor on OBS, if you want to mimic my stats, I just turn the compressor back on. There's a limiter back on. Uh, the limiter I need on there for if I do something where I get like upset, I'm like, God damn it, fuck shit ass. Um, it blocks it and keeps it from uh, going all the way up to where it's really, really awful to hear. Uh, yeah, and it, it's just at three. And then my noise gate, oh, sorry, let me read my compressor settings. My compressor for my voice on this um, is 1.5 to one. My threshold as the point where your compressor turns on is everything over 18, 18.8 uh, .8 decibels. Uh, my attack is four milliseconds. My release is 29 milliseconds. My output, my output gain is 9.9 .9 decibels. And um, that helps me get my voice up to here. I could probably stand to maybe turn it down a little bit, but um, I think this gives me the best amount of range. I can talk from back here. I can talk up close to it and like whisper to you guys. And uh, I have a lot of, I can, I can put a lot of dynamics into this and keep it pretty, pretty good um, as far as I can tell. Wow, it's impressive how much the compressor fix it. Compressors are great. They're fucking amazing. Uh, it's one of the hardest things to learn how to do right in audio. It's basically like there's everyone on earth and then there's people that at least know how to use a compressor. And it's the first mountain that you climb. And then when you get to the top of it, you're like, I have, I have climbed all of three feet. This is nothing, but yeah, it's really easy to do these, these basic, if you, anyone share another basic compressor settings for OBS, at least, um, uh, depending on what you do, you're going to want to fit in, you're going to want to, uh, futz around with these. And these could technically change based on the gain, based on the natural loudness and timbre, timbre of your, ugh, fuck that natural ugh, timbre of your voice. Um, but generally, uh, the ratio to release settings that I have on here are generally perfect for 
every person's general application. So a ratio of 1.5, some people prefer a 1.4 uh, or even like a 1.8. That ratio is the amount. So basically every time you go forward, it goes down a little bit. There's a diagonal. Think of all audio signals as having a diagonal line of natural existence. When you talk, the peaks fill the underside of that diagonal line. The threshold puts a dot on that line, right? And that's at a certain decibel. So after you hit 18 decibels where it should be going up one, it's going to go up like 1.5. You know what I'm saying? So it's going to decrease at that rate. So up one actually goes over 1.5. Up one, 1.5. So it's a, it's a XY thing. You know what I'm saying? So like that. <laughs> that's confusing. So that's not a very extreme amount of compression, by the way. Um, it's, like, it's like this much, right? Like, like that. If this is the natural line, you're pulling it down just this little bit. The um, the ducker that I have on there, my side chain compression, is a 22, which goes like that, which is basically as high as it can get. It's almost almost a lim limiter. It just has a little bit of softness to it, so you don't hear it go, and it and it it's got like a super bad pulse to it. Uh, my attack is a four millisecond, which is almost immediate. Um, you don't want to turn things, especially for vo vocal com compression all the way down to a zero. That's how long it takes from the second you hit the information for that um, to activate. So it actually goes a little bit past and then brings it down. So it's, a, it's an act of basically softening that just slightly. Um, the release is uh, once that's gone down, uh, how long it takes for the compressor to release. And so when the compressor releases, you know, it just kind of lets it off. Boof, boof, boof. So basically, if you think about it, all of my little waves that go up and down, they just have a nice little like bit of sanding happening at the very top of them to bring it just down a little bit to take the upper edge off of my voice. That's, you know, when I uh, like that, when I think or if I go like, ah, oh, God damn it, like what the fuck? And then I'm like, OK, I'm back here. Or, you know, when I when I step out of my like conversational thinking tone that I have when I'm explaining things, I always sound like this. But then when I start talking and addressing people. I get a little bit more uh, excited, you know, um, it cuts all of that down. And then when I get quieter, my output gain here at the back end brings everything up. You don't want to, and this is a mistake people make. I think this is what President Sunday is doing. I'm not going to replicate it with my my physical system because it will actually probably hurt some of your ears, especially if you guys are using headphones, is turning the gain, the input gain on your actual mechanical input on, on, on your, your preamp up or even on your, on your thing. So when you get a, any, any, any microphone has a gain knob, uh, generally, except for like law of mics usually don't, um, if they're good ones that they, they do that inside the recording instrument cause they plug into it. But my preamp has a gain knob on it. If you get like a USB, uh, like a focus, not a focus, right. A, um, like a Rode Procaster is what I think the first mic I had, that was like a side address type thing. It had its dials on the side. Right. And then you'll have those. Sometimes it'll have a secondary dial for something weird like tone or it might even have like a limiter dial on the top to bring it down so that you don't have to worry about it. USB mics are a little fucking weird. This is technically still a USB system because I don't have it plugged into an audio card because I don't have an audio card. Um, but I think it sounds fine. But my gain is only set at just a little bit over uh, five and a half to six. I think it might actually be set at six. I don't like going over seven or eight if I absolutely have to. After that, I start picking up background noise. That's when you can start hearing the and those weird noises, the little kind of things that stick in there. All that comes from the the mics actually trying to pull as much juice as it can in right it's 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 basically opening the door completely to anything absolutely anything that'll come in your voice will always stick out in that because you, you have a human voice and you'll hear it but all the rest of that is unpleasant even if you're not noticing it it's unpleasant to you like people that don't know anything about audio and don't even know to look for it if i turn on a noise gate on and off and it's a good like accurately installed noise gate it's not terrible and cutting off the bottoms of your words um, they'll go, I like that more. When I turn on this compressor, even if you didn't know what a compressor was, you would have naturally gone, I like that more. Um, and it just does, and it, it just does make stuff better. My limiter that I have for my limiter settings, uh, very simple, negative three decibel threshold. You should always have a limiter at the end of your chain. 
um, just in case something goes weird in your chain, it is basically like a final break stop to make sure that you don't blow out the uh, blow out the sound. The release on my limiter so is 60 milliseconds. So every time um, sound hits three decibels, it gets turned down, and then it, 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 it that releases in 60 milliseconds pretty quick. So if it does hit, it goes like that. Uh, but you won't you won't necessarily hear that. If you ever want to test this stuff, if you have an audio program, um, get a tone, get a tone signal going, just a basic like uh, you know an oscillator like that, and then just start changing these settings, and that will give you a better understanding of what they do than trying to do it to something as complex as a voice. My voice has, uh, you know, probably some like five or six hundred actual tones that are going into the uh, the to how I sound. You know, it's the way that air vibrates in my literal lungs, how my chest vibrates, uh, how my nose vibrates, the hairs in my nose, my, my sinuses behind my eyes, my actual vocal cords, the damage to my vocal cords, my throat, my lips, my teeth, my tongue, all of that changes the natural character of my voice. And you, you, you can't always tell um, that much of like the specifics of what you're changing if you're listening to a human voice because you might be changing a simply just an aspect of it instead of the whole thing. So if you practice this stuff um, in a DAW, online, whatever, um, just try to use a, a single tone at first and then move up to something like uh, with a little bit more character like a drum or a cymbal. And then once you got an idea for that, I mean, this can all be in like 20 or 30 minutes, you know, it's not like only listen to a tone and fuck with it for seven years, just fucking fuck with it a little bit. And then uh, you'll, you'll probably figure it out. No, it's not an A-H as in father. It's an A as in cat. That's why it says like tambourine. Tam, tambour. Tambour. Tam, tambour. Why does that, why am I stuttering? I feel like a fucking idiot, dude. I feel so fucking dumb. Uh, do, you, do you use a noise gate as well? Yes. Um, and I will give you guys my noise. I had to fuck with my noise gate endlessly. I... Uh, I tested my noise gate on this by doing live recordings um, offline and then just listening back to the recordings while I was changing stuff and I would just say what my my stuff was. Uh, Noise gate is like pro grade shit. You can always turn on a noise uh, noise gate, but you really have to know what you're doing and know where you want it um, to get what you want out of a noise gate. Yeah, you probably didn't hear me like every little sound of me drinking that. It's because I have a noise gate on. I'm considering trying the VTuber, PNG tuber things for some time for some drawing streams. All of this will be so helpful. Yeah, yeah, no problem. That's why I want to do this. I want everybody to sound better. Because <laughs> if I ever like end up liking your stream, I want to like it. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. I wanted to... Oh, those are all of my sources... Where did my, oh God, it's up there. I'm so stupid. I tried to mix some stuff up and I messed up. I'm going to take, I'm going to take Ben Shapiro off the screen for a second and just talk to you guys. Um, so my noise gate, uh, my noise gate works specifically for me. Generally, these settings will get you in the ballpark of where you need to be. Don't turn on a noise gate and just roll. I've done that. I fucked up a lot of episodes of my own podcast um, by recording raw through a noise gate, like an absolute fucking maroon and really fucking up my sound. The way a noise gate works is basically it turns off the bottom of your noise. So it, 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 it is a literal gate, right? And it only lets the signal in when the signal has enough energy to pass the gate, so to say. So mine, uh, opens, I can't remember. Yeah. So it closes at 34 decibels. I, I don't use this type of noise gate. This is one of the reasons I had to fight with the fucking thing. Um, it, it closes at 34, and then it opens at 29 decibels, right? And so I think it works pretty good on this. My, uh, my, um, my settings for, for noise gates are completely different when I use them on... In my audio processing on FL Studio, I use FL Studio Limiter to do my noise gating because it's just got the best 
setup it it, it, it just works the easiest um, generally you want a pretty long attack time of like long for an attack time of like yeah 25 milliseconds on this your hold time my, I have a hold time on mine of 185 milliseconds and a release time of 150 milliseconds so um man th this one's really hard to describe I, I can never remember how this thing works on here but basically everything's dead until you hit a certain point my certain point is uh 34 decibels right and then my open threshold is 29 i can't remember what an open threshold is on this because i don't even have an open threshold on the one i use i just have a single gate and it just shuts everything off underneath i think uh about 30 34 to 32 decibels um the noise gate and where you're going to put it is very important too um so signals are put they're, they're they're part of a thing called a chain right so when you make a noise into this microphone, this microphone's chain goes like this, just mechanically. My voice, the microphone, I have a built-in um, limiter -y thing on here. I can't remember what it does. I think it's a high pass. I have it turned off. Then it goes into my preamp. My preamp, it goes into the gain first. And then there's different minor settings on this because it's a scarlet. You have something called air and something called instrumental. I'm not going to get into what those do at all. Don't even fucking worry about it. From there, it has a, a split, right, that does like this, that goes into the monitor, right? And so I can monitor directly the voice, what I hear right now. And so because my, vo my, my, my monitor is high enough for me to hear, but because this is low, it's not picking up my monitor too. So that's something that you'll have to uh, work through. You do want to monitor your voice because then I can actually hear where I am. Um, if I want, I can, I can talk like this cause I actually have enough faith now in my, uh, in my, my, my audio processing skills to take off my headset. But, um, it makes you, it, it's nice when you hear your own voice and you're being through your monitor. I think you see a lot of people, um, especially like with, um, Xander Hall over here. Well, Xander Hall's wearing a full fucking headset. Actually, almost every other person, uh, Sunday, demon mama, um, what's his fuck, all of them were wearing small headphones. You know what I'm saying? And so those are not going to give you the same response. You won't, you won't get the same value uh, from listening to your audio through that, but it's a good way to just listen to the computer audio. And you can't generally, unless you plug it in the right way, uh, monitor what you're saying at all. So like, um, if you don't have the, like my setup like that, you can't actually monitor your, your input signal, which is, it can be bad for you. But it's not the worst thing. So from there, you know, I'm, I'm on my preamp. I get my gain and stuff. And then that goes to my PC. My PC um, has my DAW in it or whatever digital audio workstation I'm using. In this case, the closest thing to a digital audio workstation I have is OBS. And so when mine goes in from what I how I gather it, because you can move these around, my chain goes... Um, I should probably change it because, well, but I don't think it really matters because it's a limiter and then a noise gate. But my, uh, my, my audio chain goes compressor, limiter, noise gate. If I change that up, which I'm not going to mess with because just in case, o OBS is finicky. It's not, it's very rough compared to the other stuff that I use. Um, but if you change that up, it's going to process whatever plugin you hit first. So, if you go the other direction and you go into the noise gate and you use these same settings, you're actually going to be working on a quieter signal. It's going to be literally 10 decibels lower. So you might end up clipping off way more audio than you intended. Um, it might not be that much. It, this is a cra audio is logarithmic, which means it doesn't go up in, an, in a line like that. It goes up in a series of these little tiny terminating curves. And so the difference between I think it is 18 and six. The difference between 18 and six is this, right? So the difference between seven and five is, is very big, right? Seven is only like a tiny one. Five is, is, is the next jump up to three, I believe. And then three jumps up to like one. And then one jumps up to fractions until zero, which is why once you get up to there, it's like... <laughs> So you want to try to like plan your thing around the logarithmic chunks inside of it. I, I, I am 
doing my best to describe this. I might have fucked up where they are in there, but that's basically how it works. So just know that the fall off after like 34 decibels goes, boom, it's very, very big. And then once you're going up above 34, it goes and curves in. So if you lose 10 decibels, which isn't linear, it's that math. Just if you lose 10 decibels, it can be like this, right, of your boost. And you can actually drag it down and you get tailed off a whole lot. And so usually what happens if you have a bad noise gate on, what happened to me, is you lose the front end of any sibilance. So um, words like then and the and like sister or wet or heavy, those words you can lose the, the first chunk off. So like that becomes like at and like weather becomes like ether. And it can be very, very frustrating to find out that you've been talking in like little clip pieces like this. It, it's very, very, very frustrating. In my case, um, I had only lost just the littlest bit of of sibilance and like that. So like if I said something like um, universe, the that would be cut off at the end of it, which you don't think you hear, but you'll hear it because the word universe and the word universe – uh, universe like that. I can't even make my tongue do it right. But you, it, you can hear the inhumanity of that immediate slice of the end of that breath being cut off. And it's like, kick, kick, kick. It, it, it can be very frustrating. Um, but these are, these are my settings for the noise gate. I had to fuck with it a lot. Just make sure that you say a bunch of the kind of words that would get cut off before you turn yours on and, uh, and start streaming. I, I, I have been listening to me back. I, even right now, I'm just like looking at it. I got to close it. Cause it's making me nervous. I know I've been listening back to my stuff and making cutting videos. So I know it's correct. Uh, which is great because actually one of the hardest things to do, especially for talking is getting your noise gate right. And having it not clipping off the beginnings or ends of words. It's, it's a little bit tricky, but it, if you get it done right, it's, a hundred percent worth it because it cl- it cleans up all the rest of it. Some people prefer to put a noise gate on the front end of their sound. Um, I don't like that as much because of how I record. If I was recording uh, singing, right, I would probably actually put my noise gate on the front end um, because it would just be a lot easier. Singing is louder, you know. It's like twenty to thirty fucking like decibels, so to say louder uh, so you want to turn everything down not even that it's actually just only about like 11 or 12 but i digress i digress i'm getting into it this is me getting into it um i am going to continue and finish the rest of this uh dr i am sent i sent a good video in the discord chat for anyone wanting a cheap really good microphone setup as long as you're not afraid to get your hands dirty is this one of the ones where you make your own microphone let me see oh yeah i've seen these before Building a quality USB-C microphone. Uh, I might check that out. What, how, what time is it? We, we, got, we got two hours. Uh, I'm going to finish grading everybody's um, shit. And then I am going to get into... I'll, I'll watch that. I like those. This isn't even the one that I saw. I watched one of these where it was like building a, uh, a contact mic. That was very nice. No, I, I watched them build a, a cardioid condenser. Um, let's see. This is Destiny. Do we listen to Destinies? I don't think we listen to Destinies yet. It's a debate with real these types of challenging conversations. <clears throat> right? I want the border to be secure. Mm-hmm. I want the economy to be killing. All right? I don't, don't want worry, people like you. I don't know. Like, you seem he's a, a boogeyman. You he's seem a, a little no, rattled not, to me. Not at all, bro. You I'm on the all day. Nice, nice being in your head. Yeah, <laughs> so if, like- if he wanted to go personal, he should have just done it earlier because that's true. He could have gone that the you mad bro route. That's a way to win the argument. But... um. Oh, I was going to talk about. This. So what uh, What Destiny's using, you can see this is a side address mic. Um, I don't know what kind it is. I've seen it. I've seen a bunch of other people use it. Um, he's got it kind of low and he's still kind of, is he still kind of direct talking into it? You can move this up out of his way a little bit more, I think, um, and still get the same sound quality he's getting right now. But he sounds pretty good. You can see Destiny's got the key light. You can see how hot his, uh, his right hand is um, because it's a little bit closer. He's got a kill, uh, a key over here. He's got a fill over here. So he's got a nice two light setup. And because he has his wall, white wall illuminated like this back here, he's got a good, uh, a good silhouette. Like he is, 
he's pretty professional in that aspect, at least, uh, as far as studios. Oh, no. Is he making fun of... He's making fun of Vosh back here? This will be a good one. Yeah, I can't get over Vosh fucking hitting his gay era and actually, like, trimming his beard and shit. It's very frustrating, probably, for everybody else that doesn't like him because uh, him looking like a disheveled fucking uh, raccoon creature went pretty far into making him look like an unreasonable racist uh, dickhead that everyone a pedophile, whatever the fuck that everyone called him. And this is like, he has cleaned up considerably. Yeah. Um, that was all this technical info is gold. I did a tiny bit of audio stuff many years ago. I used to play metal guitar. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it, this is painstakingly learned over the course of uh, now Seven year almost long career, uh, much of which I did very bad <laughs> at the beginning. A lot of YouTube videos, a lot of uh, reading and reading and reading and reading and reading. Um, I suggest if you ever want to learn uh, highly technical stuff, you want to you want to start fucking reading mathematical equations and shit, and really trying to understand how stuff works. Get online and just look up the FL Studio manual. It'll tell you stuff for its own plugins. And so if you're using a different system, it won't tell you how to use that system's plugins, but it will give you the basic uh, understanding of how a lot of those things work. It'll teach you how chorus works, phaser, flanger, how to do limiters, um, how to, how to fuck with noise gating, how to read, really just read the, um, the numbers that are going to be on compressors and stuff. I mean, I don't even have a multiband compressor on here, but I, I use fucking, I use a multiband, uh, compressor called um maximus on fl studio that's considerably more complicated considerably more complicated than the compressor that's on here a uh, three maximus lets you not just block out um your your low end your subs but you can you can change the segment of info that you get into and start messing with individual bands of it and then also the mastered end of it and i use that to you know cut off stuff do this they do that I, I, I do a lot of crazy a lot of crazy fucking audio shit with maximus it's just the two of us now but i personally love the stream oh okay <laughs> oh just you you guys it's just you guys no it's all right um i'm still trying to figure stuff out but it's all right hopefully i didn't lose oh no hey i got a subscriber back i don't know if those subscriber counts even fucking work well, let's two see. weeks ago why, why would I be the one to approach the conversation? Now, some people are saying you could take the initiative and go and repair that bridge, um, which I would agree with if he had any value to me, but he doesn't. His, his community is not as engaged as mine. Uh, there's huge liabilities working with him. Honestly, past my Rittenhouse comments, probably more than him. What is up with Destiny's fucking head while he's talking? Is that the video or am I, am I crazy? Is his jaw going like, like that while he's... He doesn't normally look like that. I've seen other videos of him talking. That looks like an encoding error or something. All the sexist stuff that went so public. Um, Maybe I'm crazy. Inability to build bridges with any other community. Like, there's just not enough value there for me to be the one to go to him and ask for forgiveness or whatever. Like, yeah. Also, keep in mind that the only reason he came the first night was because Cherry went to his table and literally told him, like, hey, you should come talk to Destiny. Like, Cherry was working really hard to make that communication happen. It wasn't just him deciding to do it. It was usually other people pushing him to do it. This is this is like little kid shit. I don't even want to like, play the video so I can judge your audio, please, Destiny. Me oriented. He was switch pilled, man. I don't know. That's that's crazy. I wasn't playing my switch at all the first day. That is absolutely not true. The only day. <laughs> this is so petty. This is some dude. His chat is probably living for this. I played my switch was the last one at dinner, and he didn't come up to me at all then. So if he heard that, he was either staring at me from across the room, because there was literally a pillar between us, or somebody yeah. else told him. Or actually, he probably saw it on the subreddit, and he just started repeating that without actually verifying on his own. Gameplay student, thanks for gifting five tier one subs, buddy. Genuinely. He's probably a lot more used to doing in-person stuff, though. It's all routine to him. So I really can't tell just by looking at it. His, his audio is pretty solid. It's oh, whoops, I didn't click on the right thing. His audio is pretty solid. Um, he has kind of bad mic discipline. I think he doesn't actually give a shit. You know, it doesn't really fucking matter um, to him. But he is about the same level as Vosh while Vosh is talking, and I don't think he's had this turned down. It's kind of hard, but either he has a sense for equalizing both of those things together, which is great. Um, 
and it turns out a pretty solid product because even if this is a little bit quiet, at least his his interstitial video that he's putting in here isn't considerably louder than him. So he's got that other problem, you know, that like Demon Mama and them have addressed. I don't think he gives a shit about getting closer to his mic, but he could uh, a little bit. Or maybe he couldn't. I don't know. I think Destiny's actually a pretty small guy, so he actually might be pretty close to this. One, he wasn't really radiating that energy. For two, I don't like... I think it's insane how he can say things like that. Like, he wasn't radiating that energy. Like... No, actually, yeah, I think he's a uh, he's he's definitely. I can hear the I can hear the bass response in his voice. He's definitely got a uh, a compressor going. He just he just talks really low. He's a very quiet guy. He talks really low and, and, and quiet, and he's a little bit and he's a little bit further back from his microphone. So, if I was doing that same thing, I would be I'd be down here a little bit too. Um, I can tell when he's moving in and getting a little bit more animated and not talking to the wall. That uh, that yeah, he, his his setup's pretty good. I think Destiny. I hate to, I hate to admit it. I think Destiny's probably got the best audio so far. Overall, you know what history is maybe to him like it's all kind of a joke, or it's just like online shit. Like he streams and then he turns it off. He doesn't care because he streams like three or four times Trump's indictments and trying to overthrow our democracy. What is the data? Like it's such a. Can I hear this one's a good one, right? Let's see what these guys sound like. That's a generous picture. And <laughs> DT. Hate him. You just you hate the guy. Are, you are. Yeah, no. Destiny's a Destiny is a fucking champ. Destiny's a fucking champ. I gotta give it to him. His 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 audio is literally the most perfect of everyone here. He does. He does have um, sideways audio going. I don't know if he's got a uh, whole like side chain ducker. He probably wouldn't even care to do that. I wouldn't be surprised if he does it, but he might not have that because he does debates and stuff. I'll keep it on when I do debates. I'll talk over people, and I'll be able to. You'll be able to hear me. That's what you come to the fucking stream for. Um, but no, I, I can tell just looking at the desktop audio that he is nice and even, um, right up around ten and fifteen. Good, clean, clear audio. Um, even when he's not being very disciplined about his mic distance, you can still hear him pretty much perfectly. And his um, interstitial and his put-ins. They are, I think, um, boosted a little bit and definitely compressed at the top end to keep them from going past 10. This might be quiet because this is not a VOD. Um, this was an upload to YouTube. And I know that sometimes YouTube um, crushes things down and puts like a weird uh, negative six decibel, um, either like a limiter or a compressor or something on them. I haven't, I haven't really figured out exactly what it is. Sorry. Now that I'm now I'm fucking up my mic distance and shit, but I, I, I think it's good. I'm still talking over the top of him. Oh, you know what? Actually I have, I didn't, I didn't listen to him with my, uh, with my settings off filters. So let me, let me actually see what this looks like without my DT guys. DTSS is real. Okay. Not Donald Trump syndrome, but Donald Trump syndrome syndrome where every criticism of Donald Trump, it's like the rent free argument, but they use it for Donald Trump, bro. Donald Trump is one of the worst presidents ever. Oh, the Donald syndrome. No, you have the Donald syndrome syndrome where every single criticism I make. Yeah. I'm, I'm giving him Donald's only the slightest like, boost because my boost is built in, but he's basically the settings that his person is using or he's using in pre, pre set on his audio is almost the exact same as mine. No notes, uh, literally perfect audio, perfect. Destiny, Destiny fucking did it again, goddammit. I don't know if he still does this, but I remember Destiny would mostly speak far from the mic, then get right up on the mic for his super spicy bits. I hated it. I think a lot of people do that. I do see people doing that um, who are in his, like, uh, his wheelhouse that are trying to like ape the Destiny vibe, where you're like, you know, you're back here talking about... You just listen. I just need you to understand that this is blah 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 blah, and get it, which I I don't I don't particularly like. I think if I end up uh, doing debates and getting loud, I'll probably have to get a little bit further away from the microphone. Uh, I don't want to get excitable and start blowing people's fucking eardrums out. But uh, he looks like he's chewing like a camel. It's very strange. I, I've seen him talk in other circumstances, and it doesn't normally look like that. It, it and it's weirdly. It, it has a weird motion to it. I don't know if he's got some sort of like motion smoothing. I feel like I remember the last time I even saw a video of his actually happened to be him talking about trying to find a new camera and he's probably got a really nice video camera. I don't know if he's getting um, the maximum amount of juice, so to say out of it. Does he have any um, direct where it's just a uh, full face screen? Doesn't seem like it, man, nine and a half hours, destiny. Like, God damn, I, res I have to respect it. 
And two days after leaving, so yeah, she he left definitely. And she had a whole plan. She had, she had bought uh, camping material. She was on her way to some sort of survivalist trip. From yeah, he's definitely got a uh, got a compressor on here. This person also has some pretty decent audio, so they 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 sound like they're a little higher up in the compression. But God damn, God damn, I had to give it to him. I think that's enough destiny for now. I wanted to see a full picture of his face just to see that um think president sunday thinks slaves all right guys we, president sunday thinks slaves wouldn't have wanted freedom without colonial religion or debate with a progressive christian which one is which one is stronger here uh i think i want him talking about i want to hear him talking about president uh sunday I actually like actual Jake generally. Um, he's one of the few people I still like listen to with some regularity. Although he's very often like, he has like a weird inability to do. Like he, he, I feel like if he tried to debate somebody like fucking destiny, he might get like wrecked. Cause he, he definitely goes in like unprepared and just kind of vibes with being just on just being literally correct without knowing necessarily. I think a lot of the times why. Hey, hello. Salam alaikum. Huh. Uh, are you gonna have a camera? Oh god, okay, yeah, it's already terrible. <laughs> yeah, give me a sec. All right, there we go. Thoughts? Bear with me here. Okay. Is uh, that a? Uh, all right. Is my man? Is that a? Is that a vape or is my man ripping a fucking blunt on stream? That has to be a vape, right? Am I insane? Screen as well. Give me a moment. I can't tell because he like uh, like many stream has no fucking light on. <laughs> This is a battle. This is the best of the uh, the best of the worst. Yeah, you better f well, pump that volume up. Right. Come on, where are you? Sorry, they don't pay me for my my tech abilities here. Why did I pick the perfect fucking stream? <laughs> I think Jake did debate Destiny once and didn't do very well. I really, I really wouldn't be surprised. I bet there was a lot of. Well, I don't understand why you don't get that kind of vibes Boom, there we go huh? there we destiny go. really just does that shit all the time the guy's like the final boss of of, of shit talking on the internet the thing is, is i don't think there's a lot of things that i disagree with him enough on in like a way where i'd want to like talk to him about it i don't know if i really want to fucking like engage sideways to his community i mean it's probably good for the like boost that you would get because you know you're going to get like a bunch of fucking attention and uh, pushed up there, but like, man, they're they can be really like uh, vindictive little assholes. <laughs> they never shut the fuck up. It seems like they got um, slightly poisoned when he uh, when he fucking orbited through like the Groiper circle. So it feels like uh, like there's a constant fight for Destiny's like soul or some shit. Like uh, I don't know. Like, like there's a bunch of people like, hey man, I'm gonna compliment the shit out of you. Could you say something nice about the absolute worst person on earth? And Destiny, I mean, I guess I could. I guess I could. I no, people say that people have a moment. I guess I can. I'm sorry to me and scare you. Can you grab me some water? Bro, this is this is with my audio Hi. boosting on. Hello. How's it going? It's going good. Jesus. Okay, so uh you're a Muslim? I'm an atheist. I'm not. That was a joke. You're a joke? Are you a theist? That was that was a joke. I'm I'm no. I'm agnostic actually. I don't disagree with most of Destiny's course. beliefs, more so his beside behind the scenes actions. Funny. Yeah, he he does seem like just a little bit grimy. I don't know. I it's believe, just I can't believe it lasted for that long. The the guy has managed to attract the the most insane amount of controversies ever. Like I, I is he I mean I see him posting videos. Is he back on Twitch or like off Twitch? I can't ever keep it uh, cancel that. Whoops. I hope that stays correct. I can't ever keep track of like where the fuck he is is and isn't in trouble at. I know he got kicked off Twitter like five seconds after I even knew who he was. It was like, oh man, Destiny's on here. And I was like, that sounds like a stripper's name, which apparently everybody says. Um, and then like, they're like, yeah, he's gone. Destiny's Destiny's been kicked off. I was like, oh, okay, <laughs> sick, bud. So this is this is an insanely quiet stream. That was that was nuts. You, actually, you, you legitimately thought I was a Muslim. You thought so I'm not going to be changing the volume on my yeah. computer I mean, you say, at all. I'm a Muslim. I mean, what, you want me to just be like, oh. Okay. But this is how loud this this stream is is mastered to. Okay, so Fair. so you disagree with me about anti-theism on the topic of what? Like, I'm supposed to fucking have context for you? That's such a like. So we've not started exactly. this conversation so, uh, all, all conversation already, and 
So you've lied to me about who you are I've and... I've lied. Yes, that's a lie. Lied to you oh, that's correct. and your audience. Sorry, Dylan Burns live here. Dylan's editor here. How have you not seen this? I don't think links work in chat anymore, so YouTube. Oh! Well, hey, welcome back to the stream, by the way. I will, I will pause. Am I, I hope I'm not in trouble. <laughs> uh, okay, let's see. And that this tonight, not only... Oh, <laughs> the hippy dippy. Okay, I thought it was. I thought it was something directed at me. I was like <laughs> nervous as fuck for a second. You sent me that link, and then I opened up, and there was goddamn Destiny's face, and I almost shit my pants. Like he already fucking heard me. <laughs> you fucking whisper the name of the devil, and he will come. Goddamn. Oh yeah, Jake's in the the corn thing. I wish I saw this corn thing more often. I only see it in, fi in pictures now. You should watch this. This was a hippy dippy that you guys were talking about too. Oh, fucking sick. Which one is this? Or when when what when was this? When? I can't ever find dates on this anymore. November 27th, 2021. I might have seen this actually. I'm going to put this in watch later. I might not have enough time for it tonight, but I'm definitely going to watch the shit out of this now. Because I have had some serious issues with um Jake's ability to argue stuff. He he's barely hung on. Like just barely hung on sometimes, um, talking with like the, this one random drunk guy, you know, blah blah blah. blah. Like I don't understand why these people should have rights. Like, well, I don't understand why you don't understand why they should have rights. Like, that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> God damn it, man. Uh, no, that's sharing a post. Tyler, Tyler, learn how the fucking internet works. Watch later. I think he's on YouTube, but I don't know. It would be so funny if Destiny somehow immediately started talking about you for complaining about him. It would be on brand. I'll say, what, what did it sound like? I get that. All right, so who, who, who the fuck is this guy now? Is it, uh, oh, oh, okay, okay. It's a fucking Vosh fan. Of course, it's a fucking Vosh fan. It's a fucking Vosh fan. <laughs> the fucking jaw going in there. What has he got a problem with me? Is it, it going to be some like uh, Black Lives Matter thing? There's going to be some uh, was it, transgender for him. <laughs> fucking mumble me to death. I think that would be like, that would be the hardest thing to deal with uh, debating a guy like that. I don't know what I would even debate him on, or if even I wanted to. But like, I he just like getting you with the mumbles. That you always know you're he's about to try to fucking take one of the big swings at you because he'll do that. Oh, so uh, what do you think this is? What do you think that's like a question that I got to answer? You, what, 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 you know, so so you don't think that that's a thing? What do I think? What do I think? I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> Jake's not good at debate. Classic case of thinking that because he knows his stuff means he's good at debate tactic tactics doesn't work that way. Yeah, I gotta say, fair enough. Um, I should I should watch some some Jake debates. Like I appreciate his like enthusiasm, but his not not even necessarily like tactics. I think he just doesn't prepare. I don't think he I don't think he particularly values the the active aspect of debate, like the, um, the, the, the proving to the other side that you have a point kind of thing. And like, kind of like making it inarguable, like the, the, he doesn't believe in the making of a case sort of aspect. He kind of just leans on the fact that he's like morally correct, which is in my mind, a bad place to argue from, even if it's technically true, uh, because I'm not a moral objectivist, by any standard of the, the the term, Jake's great on his own. He really is. Like, yeah, I'm not I'm not dogging him specifically. Uh, I like his reaction stuff, but sometimes when he's like talking to other people, it's it's crazy. And like the, his audio, that's why I saved it for last. His audio is some of the worst in the business, and that's why I went to it. Which I was thrown because he's got this wonderful background. I like it. I actually kind of semi based mine on it. I was like, I like that set up it's got a, a lot of uh, a lot of space for everybody to be there you know he's got his like little thing here mine is just a creepy painting i drew when i was working through some shit I'll, I'll show you guys a picture of it later sometime but i just threw that up in the background but i really like this and so it's kind of bizarre that this visual is great you know this little uh thing he's got his little corns and everything but then he's sitting in the fucking dark and you can barely hear him <laughs> yes everyone so, I, we were just covering a whole mess manifesto. Lies, so you lied. lies are my stock and trade. 
So, um, so okay. So now you can hear like like President Sunday. Like I said before, he's got a pretty decent mic. I think. I mean, it looks at least like it costs more than ten dollars, um, and he's got his amped up, or at least his post processing is amped up. So you can hear him hitting the top of the limiting right there. Ocean Kill Toy might be another good guy to look at for leftist audio reviewing. Hmm. So and and on where the hell like how did I, I kind of say how did a Dylan Burns live editor just pop in here? That shit was magical. It was like instantaneous. I'm actually fucking like, boom. They got they, you're you're on it. You're on it. That's that's great. That, that's almost at the level of uh, when um, Surus yes uh, when I was in when I was in journalism. Like if you ever said anything like a Procter and Gamble company that had like a weird name for like a soap, it was like, I don't know, ball bath or something, but it was spelled like B O with an umlaut L B A with an umlaut T H H H. And you fucking messed up a little bit of that. It, it, and you're just like, Oh, they found this ball bath soap at the crime scene. And it was important for some reason you would get a call from those motherfuckers. I swear on God within five minutes of launching that story. And they'd be like, I'm sorry, but uh, you know I'm a uh, I'm a representative with the uh, ball bath uh, brand of Procter and Gamble, and we would like to uh, let you know that you misspelled ball bath. And if you don't mind, could you please correct that in the next fucking thing? Like, what the fuck? God damn it! Sorry, I'm, I don't know how to put an umlaut in this ancient computer. I don't even know if it can handle putting dots over A's. Twitter, like multiple times. Oh my god! Poor, really poor faith. So. Was I it? would oh, I would love to understand what your position is. Jesus Christ, this is bad. Anti-theism. Anti-theism? I, I have no objection what... to anti-theism. No, the, the issue I was objecting to had to do with... Uh, filters. Okay, so this is this is with my filters on right now. And as you can see... Well, you guys can't see. I can see. Well, you can probably hear. You can hear me out loud, but I'm not actually ducking their audio because their audio is not high enough for, to, for it to hit my duck. <laughs> That's right. Published tactic by the church. I think mean, you're saying this in the present tense. There are no indigenous Christians. There are people who are. <laughs> Dylan Burns, editor, you're you're the best. I'm busy editing for tomorrow's uploads, and it's chilling here. Awesome. Well, thank you. Welcome to the stream. Don't judge me on Dylan's audio. I have to hard limit increase gain and post because he refuses to mix. <laughs> ten out of ten. That's how it is, man. That's how it is. I actually didn't check. Uh, I didn't check Dylan's um, audio uh, out because I, I, I can't blame. Him. I wanted to do recent ones. I don't want to go back too far in people's past. And now he's in like fucking Ukraine, so I don't think it's really fair to judge him off of whatever fucking laptop setup he's got going on. That'd be a little bit rough. But <laughs> shout out, shout out for dragging yourself through the mud on that one. <laughs> I'm also I'm glad that we have some people in here that can appreciate this uh, this conversation. I knew it was going to be a small crowd, basically, um, but I like talking about audio, and it's my actual normal job. And no one ever wants to fucking no one ever wants to hear about this shit. If you could say compressor to somebody, and they don't immediately start thinking about like smashing cardboard boxes in the back of a warehouse, it's a nice day. Oh man, I, I turned that off. I needed that on uh, property. No, God, please, Tyler. Filters. Okay, so this is with uh, my filters on, even with my compression boost. In a moment. Amazing. And then the other one was the other one was Black Americans are in the present tense religious. That's with it. That's with it off. Slave owners historically. It was a sociological claim. Can you guys even? This is this is the same audio level on on my thing. My my output to you guys minus the chains that I put this. This is the same output that I gave to you guys. This is insane. And this is in post. This is post. Like Jake had a, a second when he was running this through fucking Resolve, Premiere, whatever. You just have, like literally, there's a slider. You just and give it like just ten notches, man. So, you're, so your argument what does here it mean is for someone to be? What does it mean for someone to be indigenously Christian? Right. So is it indigenous to their land that Christianity came to them? Like oh. is it part of their culture that Christianity. But this is crazy. But he still has a ton of variability in, part of their in his voice. Yes. Well, is, what it part of, is, is it part of an indigenous American yeah. culture to be Christian? Huh. He just he just snatched up his mic and like close talked into it and did not hit fifteen. That should have blown it out. This is wild. Of course, no. Well, of course not. But that's a far cry from saying right. Of course, so we don't have a disagreement. Right. <laughs> no, no. But indigenous indigenous people 
No, no, but but do you think so that you know better? Yes. Do you think that you know better about what indigenous Christians beliefs actually are than they do? What do you mean? Well, I don't know what the hell this conversation is, but I almost want to listen to it for a second. What the fuck is an indigenous Christian? What what are we talking about like specifically like Kurdistan right now? Or do you mean like Native American, like Native American people? Like First Nations people, Christians? Is that what you mean? to say that they aren't actually Christian because it doesn't emerge. What do you mean? I didn't say they aren't actually pre contact. That's stupid. I didn't say they aren't actually Christian. That's a direct quote. There are no indigenous Christians in America. <sighs> Damn, he got you on that, Jake, because that's fucking, that literally, that's not true. <laughs> there are. There are indigenous, I've met them. <laughs> they, they got churches, man. There are no so, Christians that achieved Christianity through indigenous means. But by that logic, there's no indigenous Christians in Europe. What do you mean? Yeah, bud. Y you goof. Oh, no. Jake, you uploaded this? I'm not even... I want to... I got to come back to... Th that's wild. That's a wild thing to say. Yeah, like, Christianity spread through, like, Constantine's, like... Like, literally, in hook signal winkes. Like, Christianity isn't in Europe because the Europeans invented it. They didn't. It was invented in, like, fucking, you know, uh, the, the, the Middle East... Fucking, I think, I think literally like Bethlehem and Jordan shit. And then it spread up into the, at the time, Byzantine and uh, Roman empires or whatever the fuck. I have to like really look back for it. But yeah, it was, it, it it's from the fucking Levant. <laughs> Jesus was, Jesus was from Bethlehem. That's like, it, that's not, as you may, if you look up on a map, it's not anywhere near downtown Europe. So to say, it's definitely not next to Rome. Um, and then it spread up through there. And then uh, Roman conquest spread Rome up into Europe. And then after Constantine adopted Christianity um, as part of his attempt to, I can't remember exactly what he's done. I think that was his conquering of the Byzantine Empire. That was the beginning of the spread of uh, popular modern day Roman Christianity into the, uh, in, in, into the European uh, area via in mass so to say i think there might be some additional you know there's an actual scholar on that we'll be able to speak more to the specifics you know there's probably like five or six here and there christians you know one here one there one here one there kind of stuff but all that that big spread we're talking you know 300 ad and shit 400 ad whatever that's that's from the uh you know holy not the holy roman empire fucking constantine and then the byzantine empire and then they had this schism, and then that's why you have Orthodox Christianity and Catholicism. But Catholics went one way, Roman Catholics went to Rome, the, the Byzantine Christians went the other way, if I remember correctly. And then the Roman Catholic Church established the auspices of what we consider modern-day Christianity throughout Europe. And then the stuff I actually know more about is, you know, you have uh, established of Catholicism is fully established throughout Europe. There's some fighting with the Scandinavians, but even they learn to play ball eventually. And then we have um, the the foundation of basically like the Holy Roman Empire and all that sort of stuff through Germany and Charles the Great. There's a lot of history, thousand years plus of history, uh, up until you have the Roman Catholic Church being way too big, overstepping its boundaries, and then being broken up by a series of small internal strifes and um uh, you know open rebellions against the uh the, the the hierarchy of the church the upper hierarchy luther puts his 99 fucking problems but a bitch ain't one on the church doors lutheranism starts spreading protestantism becomes a part of that and then uh, you finally have the first big break with henry the eighth i believe it might have been something in Bohemia, but I'm pretty sure it was Henry VIII um, splitting uh, from the Catholic Church and creating their own church, the Church of England, so that he get a divorce that caused the uh, the first like big maze, massive bleed off throughout multiple countries. It was also just because Rome got to play favorites and and lay politics by saying you're the Holy Roman Empire, you're the Holy Roman Empire, you're the Holy Roman Empire, and giving out indulgences and shit and taking bribes so that people could go to war and rape and murder and pillage and shit. But yeah, um, Europe, Europe did not become Christian because Europeans were like, Christianity is a great idea. They became Christian because there was no other fucking choice. They got slaughtered left and right. Oh my gosh. There, That's a weird thing to say. Christianity, Christianity originates in Palestine. It's, it's not indigenous to... That's correct. Yep. 
but you're responding but you're responding to someone saying you gotta you need to hammer that home uh, stop being so smug sunday you need to hammer that point you should be dogging on him right now lean into that microphone take that take that comfy sweater vest off pop that fucking pop that rumpled shirt up on your shoulders and tell jake what's what i'm, I'm gonna watch this back at some point this is only like an hour long i, I have to check this out do watch later oh boy what time is it 1001 hell yeah um i completely fucked up all of my streaming shit face output there you go hey everybody oh i'm gonna take this off for a second it's so hot we're you know it's that time of year where you're transitioning from like summer to fall and like just no temperatures correct it's raining outside it's very nice but for some reason it's making it like more humid in here i'm always so shiny i should start i should start moisturizing and wearing a little powder in here so i can fucking take that shine off my nose you know what i'm saying how do you guys you guys enjoying the stream though um and by you guys i mean also the people watching back later hey if you are enjoying the vod and you just got a bunch of interesting information about uh, what sounds good and what sounds bad when you have a professional, semi-professional, or fully amateur sound rig. Um, <laughs> what the fuck was I saying? If you learned anything from my stupid little lesson that I did, hey, please take a second to like and subscribe to the stream. Give us a give us the old give us the old chalk on the shoulder for doing a good job, and we'll really appreciate that from you. I'm trying to grow to a thousand subscribers. I'm an almost non-existent, like bro, cool guy, small dude, little fella, that me. And um, we're trying to boost this thing up. So if you're popping through, like, subscribe. And um, today's today's thing. If you guys don't know this, this is what I'm building. This is my thing that I want from my. Uh, yeah, I'm loving this. I'll have to take off in about five minutes, though. No, it's all good. Um, if you uh, if you're enjoying this and and you want to be a part of the West Side, my thing that I ask my followers to do is you don't have to go and comment something nice about the stream. You don't have to say anything cool. I want you to treat the stream uh, the stream's comment section after the fact. If you're watching back through the vods, like it is a, a portalet bathroom stall. All right, without breaking terms of service, write stuff, shitty little jokes. Um, you know, uh, little, little funny profane drawings and maybe not necessarily that, uh, just like little toilet humor. If you want to write the word fart, or if you want to write Kilroy was here, uh, do, do just a little goofy thing like that to show your appreciation for, uh, me making the stream for everybody. And, um, to also help us grow a little bit. Cause just even one comment makes the stream like fucking, it's like just kicking it a little bit further off the uh, shore as far as the algorithm is concerned. Also go ahead and check out some of our clips. Cause that's the only way I make videos on this channel. I just clip this shit. I don't have time to be writing scripts about Keffels being bad all right <laughs> i don't care um i think uh i think i can i can go into this with a quick summation of what we learned um if anyone wants to if you're coming back through here and someone if you don't mind helping me because i can never figure out how to do this shit right if you want to tag uh do one of the time tags and this can be my summation so people don't have to try to skip through the video here is how very basically to fix your audio right fucking now in OBS. This works specifically in OBS. Um, I can't show you on the, my screen because I'm too fucking dumb. Um, I'll keep this in mind. We'll comment that Kilroy was here or wasn't. I find it very funny how I'm technically one contact away from Dylan Burns just because the YouTube algorithm randomly recommended your stream to me one time. It's a small world. It's getting smaller every day. Um... But yes, uh, okay, so we're going to go from the top down. When you have your mic slash aux section, it should be just pop up like that. This is going to be your primary way that you talk, your microphone channel. What you're going to do is you're going to go into filters. Then under the filters, you hit the little plus sign, and you can see things that say compressor, expander, three band, gain, invert polarity. Don't worry about almost any of these. What you're going to use is the compressor, you're going to use the limiter, and you're going to use the noise gate. Don't worry about too many of the other things. Um, they're just different variations on the same tool. More than likely, without getting into it, OBS only has one or two tools that actually change this, and then those things are just different uh, accesses to amounts of that tool. 
uh, so that you can kind of more intuitively fix it. But you can get everything done with just this. Put on your compressor first. If you want to have sound roughly approximating mind, you might have to fuck with these a little bit. Put it on uh, your compressor. Put your ratio at 1.50 colon 1. That's 1 1.5 to 1. That's going to give you a little bit of rounding down at the top. Put your threshold to about 18.8 dB. You can put it at specifically 18. You could even move it down to 21, depending on how you feel about it. When you turn it on, you can mess with this. If you can put on monitoring and hear your own voice and just move it up and down to where you think that the highest things that you say are being brought down to where you want them to be heard. For attack, I would put it at about two to four milliseconds. I have mine at four milliseconds. I wouldn't go too much higher than that because it might take too long. Uh, your voice and your voice's peaks don't last long enough for more than a few milliseconds to actually matter. Similarly, I keep my release very tight. Uh, 50 or 25 to 50 at max. Definitely way lower towards uh, towards the mid to high 20s. Generally, um, some people can go up to like 35, 45. Depends on what you're comfortable with. If you're just getting into this and this is actually useful to you, I would stick at 29 milliseconds. That's the release time on, on that effect. For output gain, generally... You want to sound a little bit quiet to yourself without with everything off. And generally, generally, 9 to 11 decibels of output gain on an ungain boosted signal should get you in the ballpark of right around where you want to be. Now, you're going to change that based on how low you talk normally if you're more of a like a like destiny talks a little bit further back, a little bit farther away from this. Now, you're going to want to have that just a little bit higher. If you are a person that likes to yell a lot and you you get up into your microphone and you get very aggressive, you're going to want to keep it a little bit lower, but only within the, that, that two decibel range still. The, uh, the change will be not too significant, but it, it, it's, trust me, it, it, no, numerically, but it's, it's a big change, trust me. Um, with your limiter, you're just going to go ahead and without even thinking, set that to negative three decibels. You, can, you could move it lower but you do run the risk of really cutting off a lot of your, your peak sound, which you don't really necessarily need to do. What your limiter is going to do is it's going to keep you from blowing out people's eardrums. If they, uh, if you happen to yell, you know, you have a bad day in a game, you get a little bit upset at president Sunday and start screaming directly into your microphone. This is going to keep you from busting your sound and making that horrible, horrible noise, which, hey, maybe you are a shit heel like Haas is, and you want your sound to sound like fucking dog ass because you're a piece of shit and you're a bad human being. But, you know, if that's your case, I don't even know why you're listening to this. You don't listen to anybody. You don't learn shit. If you're a decent human being, set that at three. Maybe you can go down to a six. If you really want to, I wouldn't suggest that. I would try to, if you want to start doing stuff at six because you prefer that, use your compressor instead and let that round that off instead of using a high, hard limiter. Um, this is basically just only for, for peak mitigation. Your release, you can set it at 60. I think that's even the default for the program. I would leave that right there. Again, this is just for your own personal voice. For your noise gate, this is going to take a bunch of fucking around with to get perfect because it is going to be based literally on your voice, the level you talk, and the ambient sound voice, the sounds in your room. I'm going to give you the basic settings that I put in. I had to dick around with almost every aspect of this, particularly the hold time and the release time to get it to where it really complements the way that I speak and my voice. And also, if you speak a different language, this could also change for you. If you if um, uh, English has a lot of sibilance in it, if you don't speak a language that has a lot of sibilance, the beginning and ends, these th 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 all of those airy noises that really rise into the word, you might actually have a different um, setup. If you speak something like uh, Arabic that has a lot of really low points, you might have to change it too because it's just going to be the character of the language that you speak, how you talk into your microphone, and the ambience is all going to, to be affected by this noise gate. It could all necessarily be the same. I haven't actually changed things for other languages. I've just spoke differently, and I have noticed uh, even changing my own 
voice to do character work um, that this can this can be a, a thing that's a bit finicky. So for me, my settings on here are negative 34 dB uh, for close threshold, open threshold at negative 29 dB, attack time 25 milliseconds, hold time 185 milliseconds, release time 150 milliseconds. That hold time is going to keep the gate open so that you, you want to have a little bit of hold time. That's also called sustain in other programs. If you go up and then down and then in outside of where the gate is, then that's going to keep the gate from prematurely closing because you, you know, said a word that's, you know, Mississippi or that has a lot of like little low bits or because, you know, you took a breath in the middle of it. It's nice. It's fine when you're doing conversational shit like this to keep your breath, uh, small breaths in here uh, while you're talking so that it doesn't close it and snap off chunks of the next word. You want your noise gates attack and release to really just be floating gently over the spot where it needs to work. If you have a very hard gate, it will clip the fuck out of your words and your voice. So just fuck with that. If you end up not feeling comfortable, you can always take it off or go look up a tutorial of somebody that works more heavily with audio filters in OBS and they'll help you figure it out. But that is the end for your personal mic. Now, um, I also suggest that you use, um, on your desktop audio, it says for me, this is how I send audio that I'm listening to out through OBS. Go ahead and click on your three dots, go down to filters. And now this has a different uh, thing and you want to do this second. So again, I put a compressor on this. Um, this is very similar to my vocal compressor, uh, with less output gain. So what this is going to do is just like before, it's going to carve off the top levels of other people's voices of fucking car commercials, um, of video games that I'm playing and make sure that it doesn't get unpleasantly high, right? So this is set at the same level, basically at the top as my voice generally, so that, um, or the, the decrease level is at the same as my voice generally so that um, they don't sound too different. So if I'm talking to somebody that's that's pretty close to me in sound, it, it, it'll fix that. Um, the threshold is 18.8 again. The attack's 4 milliseconds. The release on this is 102 milliseconds because this will not be just affecting voice but also other noises as well, which may have a much longer, flatter um, sound profile, right? Uh, for something like an engine or that you're going to want to have that release be very, very gradual because it's going to be activating again and again. And you want to avoid any pumping aspect to your quality, to your audio. It can be very distracting if you're not making music. Uh, my output gain for this, I have lower because obviously I don't want people to hear other people as well as they hear me in general. Um, and because you don't want to put an excessive amount of output gain on an extremely variable sound like that because everything that I'm listening to is going to be given an additional 4.4 decibels. So that's very quiet talkers like uh, actual Jake. And that's also going to be car commercials that start with a Harley Davidson or a motorcycle commercials, the Harley Davidson revving its engine and, you know, star spangled banner playing through an overdriven guitar amp. Those both of those things will be given additional boost. So you want to be very, very ingenerous with your output gain or create a second one of these things if you want, if you're doing debates or something. And you can basically replicate this um, and try to get that audio only from um, from uh, Discord or whatever. That's a different story entirely. I haven't done that specifically. I just am about 90% sure it's something you can do. After that, we have our limiter. My limiter for that audio is at six decibels. So um, my compressor does cut pretty early, but having this limiter at negative six makes sure that basically when anything's peaking, I can always kind of be heard. So in an emergency situation, sort of, you can still hear me, but also because they, this is not just blocking vocal sounds, but also cars, this, that, and the other. So that's going to be a hard limit three decibels lower than the three that I put on mine. Um, and I think if you've been listening to my audio and you like the way that other audio sounds through it, you can replicate that. If you want to push it up to three so that everything is given the same uh, priority as your own voice, that's also perfectly fine. Um, would uh, not something that I'm going to do. Buck, hello. <laughs> my dog just walked in and out. 
Bad dog. Come here. Come here and say hi. Nah, you're a good boy. Good boy, Buck. Um, I released on that at 60 milliseconds. Lastly, um, I have something on here called side chain compression, which is the, um, the most difficult to master, quote unquote, thing that I have. So the side chain compression is technically very, um, not technically very, but technically slightly more complicated than everything else. What side chain compression is, um, is basically taking information from another source in order to activate it. So my side chain compression only activates when I'm talking through my microphone. It will duck the audio on the desktop so that you can hear me better. Because generally, I assume if you're listening to my stream and I'm talking, you want to hear me. Uh, if that's not the case for your stream and you want whatever's happening in your ears to be able to drown you out, then don't put on side chain ducking um, or don't turn it down as far as I do. For my side chain compression, I have my ratio at 20 uh, to one, which is very low, very tight. Uh, it is not actually as high as it can go, but it's still pretty big. I guess you can go to infinite. My threshold is at negative 22 uh, decibels, so 22.4. That's lower than the talking level, so that starts the curve on this compressor before the curve above it, so that that's not, you don't want it to go above it. Basically, you don't want to double compress something in a weird way. Um, it, just for PC load and in general, I think this works better. I, I, I won't get into it. Um, my attack on this, again, is very tight, 0.4 milliseconds. I want it to just bleed in. You can have your um, attack on the ducking very tight, even to zero. But what will happen is you might get a uh, whoomp. And so if you talk, it'll go whoop, 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 like that. Um, for some reason, this does not have, on the side chain compression, it does not have a sustain. I use a sustain on my side chain compression um, in FL Studio. My <laughs> I don't have a sustain on my gate, but I do have a sustain on my, I mean, you can get gates with sustain, but the one I use, I don't have. This one does. Um uh, this one does not have a sustain, so you have to be very uh, reasonable and very generous with your release on the compression. Um, I put mine to 204 milliseconds, so that's going to be once it hits, boom, instantaneous, and then it, it comes down so that um, the release of the effect is very general and very slow before it comes up. So when I talk, it's the volume of the other thing that I'm drowning out doesn't go in big like stair steps. If you keep it really low, you'll you'll literally hear yourself back and forth, up and down. It's horrible. Um, unless you really want to sound like that. Uh, and then finally, my output gain is at zero because I don't want any additional gain on this compressor. It would, functionally speaking, basically defeat the purpose. Uh, you can put output gain on it. Um, it will still not go to the max. But if you put a bunch of output gain on it and it's already getting boosted by the compressor that's above it, that's already going to get hit with it. Um, you might end up just, and then you'll hear the static. It might just sound a little bit unpleasing, but it's up to you. Uh, and then at the end of this, you have to pick your side chain slash ducking source. You want to set it to mic slash aux so that, um, the mic slash aux that you're talking into ducks the desktop audio. You want to go in that direction, not the other way around. And that's how you do side chain ducking. This is a very... Trust me, that sounds like really simple. It took me fucking, I swear to God, like six months to actually figure out how to do sidechain uh, compression, right? Now that I can do it, I probably use it too much, but it is very effective. I think it's one of the better aspects of why I sound good to people that listen to my podcast and listen to me talking about stuff. And that's because I can talk over videos and uh, the video goes away and you can hear my voice as opposed to everyone else that you hear. If they start talking, it goes away. That ducking also works when I'm playing video games. So if you are a video game player and, you know, you're playing something like Apex or um, I guess I think League of Legends is particularly loud or Call of Duty, that's constantly frenetic. It's very loud, but you want your audience to hear that nice, those nice gun sounds, those running noises, something like Tarkov where you want them to be able to hear all those minute moments. But when you start talking or yelling during a firefight, you want them to be able to hear you. I would strongly suggest putting on some side chain ducking so that it pushes those sound down sounds down when you talk. And when you stop talking, 
they can listen to the game again. That's the point of the sidechain compression. And of course, all these things can be futzed with, messed with. Um, you can always return to my numbers that I gave you. If I think about it, I might write them down. How about if I get if I get 50 comments on this video, I will actually take the time to go and write those down. I really don't want to do all that additional work of typing. So that's it. more comments than I've had on any video I've ever made. It's almost a third of the subscribers I have. Um, but yeah, if you guys do that, I'll actually go for and write these down. Anybody that goes and writes them down for me, you are a champion. Thank you. Uh, you're the best. Woo. So yeah, that was the, uh, that's the entirety of the basic lessons to improve your, your, your audio. It's very simple. That's, that's the main reason I made this video. Share this video. If you are a streamer, uh, or, or you have a streamer that you like that has dog shit audio or bad audio, even if it's one of the people that I made fun of, I don't care if I hurt their feelings about their bad audio, they can only grow for it. I don't think you're stupid for not doing it. Um, because most people don't even know that these settings exist. They don't know how it works. They, you know, it's one of those things that it's, it's not very friendly. If you look at the, 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 the things that I was just looking at, I can't show them to you cause I'm too stupid to use OBS. I, I too am dumb. It's just sliders and numbers and words that you might not know. And if you don't know them, what the fuck are you going to do? But if you have a, a streamer and you watch through this eventually, five years, 10 years, 20 years from now, whatever the fuck, just send them this video, clip this piece out at the end, whatever, share the time stamp uh, or the, 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 the previous lessons, and it will almost instantaneously fix your audio. Those settings, by the way, that I used can be replicated in any audio program, basically, I knew which numbers to go for because they're similar to the numbers that I use in the programs, um, the audio programs that I work. These tools are almost always basically the same with slight amounts of, of nuanced difference that don't really matter in the context of this conversation that we're having right now. You will, you will see every, every compressor basically works that I've ever seen works off of that ratio you have additional things. You'll see other terms like a knee. Uh, knee changes the the overall curvature of that. Uh, if you get into really, really complicated compressors like some of the ones that I use, you can use step gating and all sorts of crazy shit. You can draw on them. That's not stuff you need to really be concerned about. If someone is just like, oh, you don't know, blah, 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 just ignore them. All of these numbers can basically be replicated in almost any program on earth. Um, there are versions of this. If you're going to use DaVinci Resolve tonight as a content creator and you just make um, fucking bread tube videos, your video essayist, and you're using DaVinci Resolve, Premiere, whatever the fuck. Um, I think it's Premiere <laughs> that you do videos with. I use Resolve because it's free. Uh, Resolve has tools in its Fairlight section that are literally the same. You can copy and paste all the numbers that you use into there and, and do the same thing if you're recording raw audio and you'll get the same results. Fuck with the sliders a little bit um, if it's not exactly perfect. And that's how you do it. That's audio. There you go. I taught you how to be an audio engineer. I'm done. <laughs> what you need to do is sidechain yourself to the desktop audio so that when you talk, the video makes you quieter. Obviously, we're not here to hear you talk yet. It was just, I would just be quiet because the videos tend to have like, uh, you know, just perfect leveling. It's just, I would just be completely annihilated. That would actually be a funny thing. You know how people have the, uh, the plugins, um, that let you change parts of stuff and it's like connected to the streams. If somebody had one that turned on side chain compression from like the game. Oh, bunny. We have a bunny. There he is. Hi, sweet cheeks. Checkers. You're the best. Come visit in the spot that you're supposed to. I'll turn your bunny cam on if you visit. I think he doesn't like jumping up and it's got the like light on. I think that weirds him out. So I'll just hurry up and turn on the bunny cam celebration. Maybe I should like I could program it so it has like a little noise. Yeah. Oh gosh. But yeah, if you could program a thing where it's like if you donate like 50 bucks, it turns on the side compression from the game. And so the game just drowns you out and you have to sit there. Or even better, if you could do that. Like, you know, uh, Dylan Burns editor, if you ever pop back through this, if he ever does the hippy dippy again and you could donate 25 bucks to just side chain compress the other person and just drop their volume by like uh, 10 decibels so that they just sound like like really quiet like this. That would be fucking hilarious. I bet you could actually make bucks uh, a few bucks off that like five ten, you know, betting. I've always wanted to do one of those kind of things, but I don't actually I don't want to talk to any of the people. I just want to like 
I want to be controlling the uh, controlling the action. Ten thirty, man. Um, you know, I think this I think this stream's basically perfect, and I think this stream's basically done. I don't even know why I put this headset on. I'm gonna go probably hang out with my wife. I got everything done that I wanted to do. This is the end of the Thursday stream. I think I don't want to play video games tonight. I might end up getting on here Thursday, Sunday, something. I'll definitely be back by Monday. Monday through Thursday is the schedule. My wife told me I'm not supposed to be streaming five days a night, but I want to finish Armored Core, and I feel like I have to do it on stream, but I also don't want to stream if I'm not supposed to be streaming. <laughs> I do like hanging out with people. Uh, but this is fun, and I love you guys. Everybody that's watching back through the VOD, I hope you enjoyed this and found it informative. If you were one of the streamers and I dogged your audio, fix it. Don't complain to me about getting dogged. Don't I don't want to hear your excuses, especially if you have 15k subs. You 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 don't do your audience like that. Just improve your fucking audio. All right, make it make life easier. Oh yeah, you did send a video. I'll, I'll watch that before the end of the stream. I'm so sorry, Doctor I. Um, I will watch that. I will watch that. I won't say goodbye just yet. I'll put my headphones on. But yeah, if you're one of the streamers watching back through this, uh, fix your audio. Especially if you're 10K plus. There's no excuses. This is basically a fucking job to you. Demon Mama especially. Like, come on, man. Just just turn the tools on. Uh, DM me. I'll help you. I'll help you through the fucking process if you got a different a different thing. But generally, yeah, if you're if you're out there and you've got a favorite streamer and you can't fucking hear them because you walk more than five feet away from your phone and it's on max volume and then like a commercial plays and everyone in your house gets mad at you, this is the situation we're trying to fix. I think this is something we can do together. Yeah, if you're a politics streamer, audio is literally your job. Do it. Yeah, and I mean, unironically, if you're going to be you know, Jake or, uh, president Sunday or demon mama with all due respect to the accuracy of your positions. I'm not even gonna talk about your debate strategies or tactics. If you have bad sounding audio like that and you go up against somebody like destiny, or you even get to talk to Hassan, um, and you know, maybe call him out or, or get into a fight with Vosh. All three of those guys have near perfect audio near perfect i would say destinies is unironically the best of all of them uh as frustrating as it is you gotta give the man his due the the devil knows his tools um you're gonna sound like shit you're you're gonna sound dog shit you're if if they can't even fucking hear you when you're arguing with them you know what good are you i, I you have to be doing that kind of stuff um and and, and, it, and it's functionally inexcusable not to once you've seen this video um, but all that said, let's, uh, I, I really want to watch this, um, this video. Thank you very much. Also, by the way, damn, Destiny is pretty tiny. <laughs> I will, okay, I'm going to be mean for just one second. We are extending the stream just a tiny bit. Just a tiny bit. Uh, I'll turn on the art, uh, the art screen for you guys here. Uh, I know you don't know what I'm saying when I say that. Like, the art screen, what the fuck is he talking about? It's it's what the label is for for this this scene right here. <laughs> That's the th this man is wild. How can how can this guy have the best audio of everyone we checked out tonight? Look how short his tie is. He's not that tall of a guy. His tie is way too short, and it looks like he's got his shirt tucked into his underwear. Am I crazy? Did he do that on purpose? Is that like a like he got paid? But yeah, my man has his shirt tucked into his underwear. That's that's wild. This. This is fucking madness. This this is this is the sign of a true psychopath. Like I I, I honestly I don't want to fuck with this guy. Belt belt is on the last belt. It's on the last loop. This is this outfit is pure chaos. Feet unironically bigger I think than almost everybody else out here. Vosh is like six three, right? But fucking Destiny packing the max heat. Pants tucked into the shoes, not even draped down the back madness absolute insanity we get up here belt on the on the tightest loop shit belt on the tightest loop which is which is crazy Sh shirt tucked into his underwear madness f f flat crazy tie single wins or not madness craziness too short somehow <laughs> like this is like a little kid's tie it ha like I, I don't know like he's had this since he was in eighth grade or something because if you were if you're especially if you're short this far short of your belly 
like you should have the bottom of it hanging out, but it actually might be that small. And he's on a single Windsor, so it's extra long. Oh no. Did I actually disconnect? Okay, cool. Uh, I hope you guys, you guys might have hit. There might have been a static. His pants are tucked into his shoes. Yeah, I, I think he might have done this on a bet. Uh, that's misery. Like the tie's not all the way up. This this tie doesn't, and his his shirt doesn't fit. This is a shirt that does not that does not fit right. This is for a larger person, slightly larger. So there's not. I think he got like an extra large white shirt that's not for wearing with the tie and just threw that bitch on. That's fucking amazing. The the absolute chaos of this. It's perfectly tight to his neck. He's almost got that like um, that Zetai Ryoki, whatever those high. You know when they wear the high. Uh, thigh highs and everyone's like I like it when a little bit of the skin hangs over the side he's got that on his neck for his collar but the collar almost basically fits and he doesn't have a fat neck the hair is unkempt the head is crooked the beard is somehow crooked to the left it's it's higher like completely unkempt literally just like I think he just robbed an eight year old he just he, he just fleeced some child on his way to his first communion on, on the way to this and just beat that child up through the body in the bushes and stole that kid's first communion wear and just came here. That it it's insanity. It, it it's it's the dress of a madman. I, I don't want the smoke. Destiny, don't fuck. I'm fine. I'm I'm this is Nebraska Steve is scary. The harder you look at him, the only thing he's missing are the Dahmer glasses. If you put a pair of Dahmer glasses on him, it's too much. He, he's he's cooking. He's cooking with fucking Crisco. Meanwhile, we got we got fucking Senor. Okay, he's not actually crooked. This is this is actually a bend. This is uh, I can see it now. That's that that's distortion. They cropped in on a super wide photo, so this is distorted. Sorry. I mean, it still looks like your beard's higher, but your head's not actually supposed to be that crooked. Look at how crooked fucking Vosh is, like, higher on the left by a bit. He's considerably skinnier than I think he's supposed to be. Look at the act, like, fucking... He took literally a machete to the neck beard to try to get it tamed, and it still, it still refuses to leave. It's a cloudy day. It's dark. I shouldn't be able to see that much of his neck, but I can still see that the, the neck beard is... is does, it, it demands to be manifest. Beard otherwise, pretty good, pretty, pretty solid. I like these glasses. Um, I like the haircut. I, I appreciate a fucking actually groomed Vosh. The 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 ponytail Vosh was rough. I was a rough individual to look at. And I was a face, I was a face for radio. Which is good because he's got great audio. This shirt goes fucking pretty hard. I think you have it buttoned up too high because this looks like these are supposed to be flayed or flared across these lapels because this is a outside of your shirt lapel type shirt but you're not really giving them space to breathe i don't know if that's the case or not still not bad i like the patterning kind of uh, don't know if uh, palm trees is really the vibe <laughs> out here in, in in cold arlington um this this pattern of this shirt goes fucking hard uh pretty pretty decent stance if I was you, I wouldn't stand like this. By the way, don't stand like this for photos. If you're a dude and you're trying to be fucking like really grounded, put your arms this same way. Just clasp them at, behind you at the small of your back. You're, it'll blow your mind how much better you look in photos. Just just put your arms behind your back right over the top of your belt, um, and you'll, you'll look like a fucking king. It, try it in the mirror tonight. You'll be stunned. Slacks, great. Shoes, great. We saw this dude's. This dude's just got that. He's got that congressional vibe. You need a tie clip if your if your clip if your tie scoots around like that. You should always try to wear a tie clip if you can. But Jesus Christ, Destiny, God damn, that's a murderer. He has those fucking boxers hiked up real high too. He he wants you to know. He wants you to know. <laughs> can't meet. Can't beat a man with uh, zero shame. Can't can see button behind tie. But just, yeah. Uh, Hair on comb, shirt not iron. Destiny murdered someone before this photo shoot. Fun fact, he has those glasses because his cat chewed the shit out of his previous pair. Yeah, his cat's like annihilate everything. I remember seeing a, a stream. I think he got a new chair. But I remember like just watching that chair that he sat in become a fucking travesty. Uh, da, 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 da. Dr. I am, I remember that. So funny. <laughs> I can't imagine a cat eating my glasses. That's got to be fucking miserable. Okay, sorry. We're going to watch a video. 
by the way, what I meant to say is um, you should look in the link of this video and any other videos. We have um, oh. a Discord, and you can join it. And you can share stuff with me and look at it. It's also the Discord for my fiction podcast, The West Side Fairy Tales, where you can read great horror fiction from a socialist douchebag like me. If you like horses and socialism, wash, 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 you should check out my new story, Sin Carriers, about a group of people heading uh, east out of California in the early 1900s. It's a horror action western, very anime inspired. If you like me, and you like anime, and you like uh, anti-capitalist rhetoric, you'll probably like Sin Carriers. Go check it out. It's all original. I write it, I score it, I produce it. If you think I'm good at audio here, you should listen to that Video, shit. we're going to be building a fully DIY microphone. Of course, this guy's going to have the most perfect fucking audio I hear all night. That's amazing. That not only has an incredibly unique retro aesthetic, but is entirely self-contained, featuring a built-in shock mount, adjustable boom arm, preamp, and a USB Type-C interface. I'm actually going to turn him down about 60% because his audio is good enough that my uh, corrective part of my audio is probably actually oh, making I him sound worse. Project. It also features a premium sound quality that's so good that it can compete against professional grade microphones that cost literally 30 times as much. Let's get to it. Microphone design is more of an art than a science, which is why professional models can often cost thousands of dollars and some are revered decades after their debut. Of course, cheap microphones are readily available in the devices we use every day. Hey, that's my webcam. Their sound quality leaves oh, no, it's a lot to be desired when it comes to anything other than Shit. communication, <laughs> partly due to the limitations posed by the physical size of their microphone capsules, which are generally far smaller than those. So earlier in the program, when I was talking about um, the size of the microphone, this is he's doing a much better description of it. I always forget they're called capsules. This tiny one is what you would see in like a lav mic. This much larger one is similar to the one that you would find in my microphone. Used in professional equipment. Remarkably though, some of these large capsules aren't actually that expensive. And it's possible to buy the exact same capsule that's in this $500 capsule. microphone, for example, for just $12 directly from the manufacturer, which is a huge saving if we can process the signal as well as the original. Also, don't. Always, I think I looked this up after I watched this, and it's not always necessarily true that you can get it for $12. Um, if you're in, it, it depends on what country you're in and if they can ship to you cheaply. I think uh, when I looked up this same thing, it was actually like in the ballpark of like 50, 60 bucks, which is still really good. Particular capsule um, is a J but I think it's because like I had to get it from like fucking Korea. And is a permanently polarized type, which makes it fairly easy to get a sound signal from it, simplifying the build process check, quite actually. significantly. Because the membranes in microphones of this type have such a weak output though, this output needs to be strengthened before anything can be done with it. On a lot of small capsules, this extra strength is provided by an internal transistor soldered to a PCB on the back. But the much larger JLI microphone leaves it up to the designer to add one, presumably for customizability. Thankfully, suitable transistors are readily available, and hooking it up just requires the leg labeled as it is, uh, 12 bucks. Data sheet to be soldered to the capsule's central tab like so. The leg next to it won't be used, so I just chopped it off to avoid confusion, leaving the remaining legs known as drain and source. Because of the way the transistor will work in the circuit, I'm going to refer to these legs as microphone positive and microphone negative, as they'll both be outputting the same signal but at opposing phases, which will be handy for the preamp circuit we'll be building later. Now, as the goal is to isolate the capsule from desk noises, a normal audio cable is just not going to cut it for wiring these legs up, as even thin varieties are far too stiff and allow vibrations to be transferred straight yeah. into the capsule and become very audible. You can hear that in my microphone too if I do stuff like this. A solution to this is to actually make a custom cable using some thin enameled copper wire like that used in the windings of small electric motors. With yeah, this guy goes crazy at a certain so point. Low, actually, I have seen this. This is the video I saw. I think I just didn't recognize the uh, just won't be able recognize to the microphone. Through it. And being enameled, it means that short circuits are prevented if they ever touch each other. However, as they are bare wires, they're still vulnerable to electrical interference. With the normal audio cable, this interference is dealt with by an outer shield of copper strands that wrap around the middle two cores, preventing Creating interference. Faraday cage. Them, 
and the best <coughs> way of replicating this functionality is to use some 2mm desoldering wire. Now you might think that the only use for this stuff is to enable the removal of solder from bad joints, but taking a close look at it reveals that it's in fact braided in such a way that allows it to be opened out with something like a knitting stick, which returns the braid to its original pre-squash Which is absolute thing. insanity. This means that the... But also I think I, I double checked this and I, I went to Lowe's and I think you can actually get microphone cord that, that that's, you know, basically to the same specs. Um, at Lowe's for fairly fucking cheap too. The delicate enameled wires can be Home pulled Depot. back through it, resulting in a fully shielded two core microphone cable that should block pretty much all vibrations from traveling down its length due to its extremely low mass. Once the enamel has been sanded from the ends of the thin wires, they can be soldered up to the remaining legs on the transistor, with the shield itself going to the capsule's ground tab. After making sure that they're both connected properly, the polarity needs to be marked, making you gotta have a lot of really join them up you gotta have a lot of equipment to build this. With the red wire being for the positive signal and the white wire being for the negative signal, and heat shrink protecting all of the joints. So, with the cable now sorted, you might think that it's ready to test out on something, but not so fast. Just like unshielded cables, a large diaphragm capsule will pick up a lot of interference from the surrounding environment, rendering its output unusable. This is why microphones always feature a dense metal mesh around their capsules, as it blocks all interference while allowing sound waves to pass right through unobstructed. To start off our version of this, we're going to begin with some brass wire mesh, which is thin enough to be cut through with scissors. After drilling a hole of similar size, I think I can actually actually use that to re. I need to fix one Thanks of my microphone uh, microphones. I can probably wood. fix it if this I pay attention to these videos. This mesh can be shaped by hammering a suitably sized cylinder or dowel down on top. We're gathered here today to mourn the loss of Mint Mobile's promotion of unlimited premium wireless. This is Thank an you, easy way to Ryan make Reynolds. some really nice custom shaped grills that match the capsule, and we need one for both the front and back. Okay, I think that, yeah, I remember this. This is so fucking, I, I think I started talking to my wife, like, I needed, I want to make microphones after I saw this. The reason and she's like, you don't need to be making microphones. Because like, that, that's just an idea you have because you watched a YouTube video. Too. I was like, I really want to, it looks so cool. In a because it's very satisfying to watch him do it, While but I don't it is need to be making I don't have any of these tools. Except for that, a lot. Another alternative is to use a small kitchen blowtorch. Jesus Christ. I have the um, these are super cheap and work the quite well voltage for checker like this, thing. as you'll see in a moment. Meter, whatever the hell. So it's after polishing it up with some wet and dry sandpaper, followed by some metal polish. Now, I don't know how to use it. My my father in law uh, convinced me to get it because it's like a good tool to have. To it, but I'm too dumb. I just use a volt meter and amp meter, system. whatever the hell. You can this little pen you touch to an electric to see if they're fine. If they're hot. Loop shapes and then solder the ring directly with some flux. He knows how to use it. He's like a fucking. Although this time using a torch from behind is recommended as it makes no physical contact so minimizes the chances of knocking it out of position. Sick. After giving this a final polish, the capsule and grills can be pushed inside and held in place with some epoxy. Though it's worth God. noting that they all need to make electrical contact so that they work as a grounded shield around the capsule. All of this he really is just articulating book as a very complicated with a real retro act of engineering, there like in a way that makes it Florence feel design. way too, way it's too easy. It's not immediately obvious, but after testing, I found that having the brass cylinder extend back as far as it does affects the audio pickup in quite a significant way. You see, the capsule we're using is designed to be highly directional and only pick up sounds from in front of it. The way this works is to actually allow sound waves to enter in at the rear of the capsule through many small holes that are precisely sized and positioned to cause a delay in the sound as it enters here, resulting in the cancellation of sounds from off-axis. Because the cylinder interferes with this delay, the cancellation effect is reduced and the microphone picks up a lot more off-axis sound, which in some cases will be desirable but for vocal use, not so much. Thankfully, remedying this is fairly straightforward, as drilling plenty of holes along one edge of the initial brass strip, as well as making it as shallow as possible, allows the sound to enter in at the rear unimpeded, so it leaves intact the capsule's directional pickup ability, and in my opinion it looks even cooler in appearance thanks to all of these holes. 
So with the capsule encased and wired up like this, it's time to make the all-important arm and suspension system for it. It's like all this Brass is again ideal here, only this time we'll be using it in the form of 3mm rods, which can be bought from places like Amazon and eBay. Links in the description below. As the ends of these I feel like you could just get put on a fucking watch list a every time you buy any sort of material idea, that's just non-standard. Up with a drill and wet and dry sandpaper. It's just like, a highly polished hey, we just got a, uh, we're the secret service. We just found out you bought like four from which to suspend the microphone from. Three foot and I'm bending mine slightly for aesthetic, aesthetic purposes. <laughs> After well, which, I, some I more grass wire can be used to make the anchor okay. points. Okay, they, they check off like what we building nukes. Off they of do need to be securely held apart though, so the remaining rods could be bent into arches and lent over to meet in the middle, which allows them to be soldered together with a short brass tube. More about this in a moment. After soldering the side pieces to the ends of these larger arches as well, you can see that it makes for a really nice sweeping shape, and it's fairly structural as it's essentially two curved triangles. Before the microphone can be it's like, did this guy it, really though, just fucking throw all this together, or did you not just spend Keeping forever drawing? Because it's just like a brass perfect art deco time, Along vibe. with a brass rod that can fit snugly inside them. This brass <clears> rod is fairly critical, as shorter lengths of it. Yeah, if anybody's got a fucking line to watch, tell him his uh, gay gay fashion in arc to one and like, improve self improvement this only ends end when he starts talking into a microphone like this. Particularly as the surrounding area needs to be filed flat. This flatness allows the tubes to be clamped together using a screw to make a hinge. And as the main structure remains, like, hollow, I buy parts that look like this, and then I break them, and then it's just like later. I hope this goes good in recycling because this, I, arm this guy just makes it from scratch. Well, it's madness. Which can simply be made by giving some more brass rod cutoffs the same filing and polishing process that we used earlier. And I really appreciate using a fucking drill as a lathe, brass. though. That's that that's smooth. The main arm can be slid down on top of these like a sleeve and held in place with some more screws. And just like that, we have a fully articulating arm and cradle system. But before it can be assembled together with the microphone suspended from it, we need to work on the third and perhaps most important part of this build, the preamp and USB interface. Insanity. If you have an hour this week, you can learn a hundred from the microphone is strengthened by its transistor, it's still not powerful enough to actually send sound to the next stage, and needs some amplification. In a studio environment, this amplification is hey, usually provided- this is the nice, nice, nice version of what I have. This is the very big preamp, it's a Scarlett 20, I think. ...provided by a separate unit, available in many shapes and sizes for different- This, uh, this bolt pattern on the side is for, uh, docking, so you put this inside of a big sheet of audio stuff different use cases, but usually at a significant price tag. I mean, As the plan is to keep everything self-contained and plasma. low cost, for and us it's only got two banks instead here, that's building one from scratch. No, it's got eight inputs, it must be In an effort to keep this simple for those of you who want to recreate this project at home, I've designed a preamp circuit that uses minimal components, so it's fairly straightforward to put together, and in the description you'll fairly find a PDF folks. containing all the parts required, and a strip board template that you can cut out. The idea with this template is to line it up with the holes on the strip board and stick it in place using some... There's a whole like subsection tape. of guys. Looking I don't want to pause this. I'm going to go. If you want to really know what's going on, you got to watch it yourself. But Before adding any of there's the a whole subsection of dudes to drill on through the board um, at these TikTok dots, that make which can guitar pedals on these things. It's fucking amazing. For mounting purposes. Modular synth <laughs> users be like 28 grand template, for a sine wave. I mean, you aren't fucking wrong. I, I remember watching one of those, um, like... Uh, What's his name? Where's the fucking mouse? Dead mouse, right? And I was watching one of his things, and he's like, I don't know why you'd use this fucking blah, 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 blah compressor to do like this thing because it's not going to return that sound. I'm like, dude, you're out of your fucking mind. He's just got a whole bank next to him. He's like, reaches over and like twists three knobs. Like, all right, man, dude, I got it on. I got it digitally. I know it's not going to sound maybe as perfect as Dead Mouse, but like. At a certain point, do you even know if it's if there's a difference that's audible? That must be bridged, of which there are three. Next up are the resistors, although it's maybe like oh, we don't pay for this. The sine waves come free. Thank you. That's filming, any oscillator. So be sure to check out wave. the template. To I be pay for the sawtooth wave. This process basically continues with some connectors, an IC holder, and a few capacitors, all of which are clearly marked on the template. 
really all of all audio engineering is just trying to make sound sound like shit like music audio engineering is trying to make a single sine wave sound like shit in the, the best way possible just ruining stuff in a good way but also 15 volts negative which is important as that's what's required by I I appreciate this. I have no idea what he's talking about. I'm going to skip a little bit ahead. Have a brass control knob, but this silver one will do for now. So, with all these individual components completed, it's time to put them all together and see what the final form. This guy looks like what would have happened if like Theon Greyjoy hadn't betrayed his brothers and he'd been born in like the modern era that we live in. He looked like him. It's time for a quick ad from this video's sponsor. Nope. So, the first and then be inserted into the tube and screwed to a little homemade bracket. As you can see, it needs Sick. to be mirrored on the other side as well, only this time it gets attached to the arm and it's orientated at 90 degrees. The short tube in the arm, by the way, was mounted by using a file to make a matching socket for it and then soldering it in place. As you can see, gluing some material. Was that a file, or was that was that a quarter inch bolt? Because I think that was a quarter inch bit of quarter inch all through. It doesn't flop around. On Zimmer is one of those super audio snob guys. He once replied to some random guy on Facebook with snobbery, and it was extremely funny. <laughs> the microphone's <laughs> output work. Han Zimmer. Han Zimmer is one of those arm. guys who is like, um, his entire sound is that. <laughs> you know what I mean? And like when you when you hit it, and like uh, when you when you get famous for music like that, and that's like your big thing that you're known for, you you have to talk. You have to talk a little snobby. He's like uh, Nicholas Winding Refn. Have you ever heard Nicholas Winding Refn talk about his movies? It's like, bro, there's not a lot of movie going on there. Like, you're you got some pretty decent cinematography and color work, but like, th this is th mostly just empty as fuck. If you didn't have Ryan Gosling, you would have nothing. Someone literally just wanted to know if there were any good virtual instruments or something. Oh, that's why. Yeah, you fucking got pissed off about the, the bottom, virtual instruments. After which, the whole thing could be mounted onto the base. After threading the microphone wire into this as well, its connector can now be added and then be plugged into the preamp along with the gain control switch and closed up. Crazy dude. Pretty sweet. This means that the final thing to do Pretty is sweet. at last suspend the microphone, for which we'll need some nitrile O-rings. These are usually used as... Hans Zimmer showed up and basically said that you can't make good music without spending half a mil on it. What a prick. So it's perfect for using to support the capsule. Never heard of Metallica, have you? Are you ready? Overall. And this really does punch well above its weight for what it costs to build, which is roughly $30. For example... No, no, it doesn't cost $30 to build. It costs parts plus time and labor. <laughs> you, fucking... you, you, you clearly have like an engineering degree, man. <laughs> that, that's probably worth a, like a cool 500k. Or if you were starting out on YouTube with some narration or maybe doing a streaming setup, you might splurge out on this Rode NT USB microphone. Now, despite costing three times as much as this DIY microphone, it's actually a fairly significant step down in terms of its audio quality, with a higher noise floor and far less clarity. I've done a few tests with it actually, and you can find those linked below to verify all my findings here. Now, on top of a poorer sound quality, by default, it's just the microphone that sits on a desk. And if you were streaming, for example, that's just going to pick up a lot of sounds from your keyboard. And it needs really an extra boom arm and shock mount, which again is an extra cost. Whereas with the DIY microphone, it's all built in and already there. So I like that stop motion moment. He's very proud of himself and I'm proud of him for doing that capsule that's in this CAD E100S and as the pre but it has all of this additional tech down here I guess that's all just part of the digital control board that's a part of it it's not really that necessary I mean this has almost nothing digital in it neither does my my thing it's all handled mechanically um, and so it just goes straight into the actual digital digital audio workstation the actual processor preamp just amplifies the signal without adding any distortion or altering the sound in any way it's not really a surprise that it sounds the same, even in the noise floor department. Honestly, why buy an $800 setup when you could build it for $30? It really is looking good so far. However, I'm surprised that Mike has 800 bucks with something more expensive. How is it going to compare against the king of microphones? That's right. This is a Neumann U87 AI, a three 
thousand dollar microphone. Side That's address. One hundred times as expensive as this. This is going to be interesting. Testing, testing, one, two, three. This is with the Neumann U87AI, and it's one of the gold standard microphones and is used in it studios. It has a lot of, a a lot of warmth to it. Sound quality and ability to be used with many different things like different instruments and stuff. Um, and I'm going to switch over to my DIY microphone now so that you can get a general idea of the differences in the way these... That's a lot brighter and has sound. less body. And uh, yeah, you can decide which one you prefer on my voice at the very least. I know this isn't... This is definitely got... This definitely doesn't have anywhere near the bass response of this. I feel like that... It's a very conclusive test. AI, and it's one of the gold standard microphones and is used in studios throughout the world. Due to yeah, that one just has incredible, incredible um, mid-low range. It's like a, a really, really nice balance and a really, really comfy, cozy sound. That's, that's, definitely, that's definitely better overall, but he might be just losing stuff with this wire. I mean, this has, this has a full, this is a massive wire coming out of here. I can't remember what the stupid things are called, but that's what you use to connect uh, connect to these these deals. And this has this is a USB mic, so these actually might sound the same um, if this is actually getting if this is getting processed into its like a, a major preamp and stuff. I mean, mine goes to a USB too, um, but he might he might just be losing out because he's got this plugged into a, a a better preamp. They might sound very similar, but this is definitely definitely better to its natural sound quality and ability to be used with many different things like different instruments and stuff. Um, and I'm going to switch over to my DIY microphone now so that you can get a general idea of the differences in the way these microphones render sound. And uh, yeah, you can decide which one you prefer on my voice at the very least. I know this isn't a very conclusive test because with a microphone, you would want to test it with different voices and different instruments and all sorts of things. But this is all I can do for now. And it just gives you a general idea. Now, a big thank you must go to Antoine for lending me this thing because it is very expensive um, and it was fantastic timing, I've got to say. So. Yeah, that one's just amazing. That, 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 the sound on that is incredible. <laughs> it's just, it, it's, it's basically perfect. Especially that's like, that's not, that's not altered or anything after the fact. Amazing. Well, shit. That was a good ending for the day. And they said, this is like audio day, man. Audio fucking day. Anybody that's watching back through this, I hope you enjoyed audio day. Um, because that's what, uh, that's what we just did. <laughs> um, I, I would be surprised if anybody's still hanging out in chat right now. If you guys are, that's great. Thank you very much. Um, I am going to be saying goodbye here. If you enjoy this stream, I really hope you do because I have, I enjoy making it. But if you enjoy this stream, please take a second to like, subscribe. Yet again, if you're watching back through this after the fact, uh, go ahead, hop down there in the comments section. Fart, poop, Kilroy was here. Uh, call Tom for a good time. Don't put anyone's real phone numbers. Uh, I, I just think that that would be fucking hilarious. It might be something I regret in the future, but I think it would be funny. Again, my name's Tyler, Westside Tyler, here on YouTube, Road to a 1,000. Please help us out with those subs. Share our videos. Share this video with your favorite streamer. Tell them to unfuck their goddamn audio. And um, hey, I think, I don't know if you skipped over it, but he does reveal that basically the entire video is recorded with the DIY one. I did see that. I did see that. Um, and I've actually, I've seen that video before. Uh, I'm actually just, I'm, I'm starting to get really tired. <laughs> I'm going to fall asleep. Uh, but yeah, if you enjoyed um, this video, if you enjoy this stream, if you enjoy me, uh, sub, like, comment, do all the things. Share my videos um, in discords and, uh, you know, communities that you think would benefit from my presence in them. I like meeting people. I like greeting people. And if you don't like me, if you want a fucking slap box in the marketplace of ideas, feel free to reach out. I love a good argument or even just a fun discussion i'm small i'm pretty fucking accessible we'll see what happens but uh yeah with all that said i love you guys stay safe out there that's the thing i'm supposed to say last uh check out my podcast at westsidefairytales.com join the discord and until next time as always stay safe out there